Hey everyone, welcome to podcast episode 40. Um, we have our top comments today. This one, uh, it's not funny or anything, but it reminded me of Drew <laughs> and Bree. Oh. So we were, we, okay, okay. You, you, you guys weren't here. So last week we talked about our favorite games oh, and the oh, question oh, we prompted okay, were... I might as well show myself out. Were uh, about like how many hours they have in games. And Sursa commented saying, you know, 1100 hours in Siege on two accounts, 500 on Halo, and then this part. Have over a thousand hours on Sims Four in the last six months. <laughs> oh, that's brief. Th- wait, what's the math on that? A thousand hours in in six. Let months. me think about uh, it. In six months, they had about <laughs> thousand hours. Oh, dude, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> six months is one hundred eighty days, so that means about ten hours, a, or like some days they play five, some to ten days hours. They, they yeah. That's hard. literally a full time job. Forty-two about, hours. About a week. six hours a day. That's fucked. Was ripping no, the more Sims. It's quarantine no. time. Yeah. No, because if it's 180 days, 1,000 divided okay. by six divided by four, 41.666 repeating. So you'd be so you literally it's literally, it's literally a full time job playing Sims Four. Nah, I will. It's so. six hours a day. Even if it, <laughs> we'll get lost in this. They're, they're going <laughs> all through the week though. You're including Saturday Sundays as part of your work week. Mm-hmm. No, yes you are. Oh, you're right. Change. but no but then it would go up no what, do, we, it would do all weeks have no, five a 40, a 40 hour work week does, does a week have five like days a in it 40 hour work yeah so it's, it's eight, eight hours, hours for five days yeah, yeah. yeah. or six <laughs> hours for seven days <laughs> no you can't play sims on the weekend you're, you're, you're just not allowed to it's, oh it's, it's, it's region law i never thought that one comment would derail <laughs> so much uh, you're not wrong okay uh first of all 40 i feel like we need to go out and buy a corvette to celebrate it's like midlife crisis, but 40. podcast edition. Yeah, with the five dollars we've earned on this podcast, you betcha. Right. Sick. Yeah, it's, we'll steal uh, one of Shane's parents' um, Hot Wheel Corvettes. Oh God. Uh, so I got two. Ooh. One is Niall absorbed Drew, and now he's absorbed Rob. Shane, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> and the other is honestly Niall speaks and like laughs dumbly, <laughs> but you can feel his intellectual stature radiating Re- through. The read screen. the comments on that. Read the comments on <laughs> that. Niall's just like. Thanks, man. I think <laughs> you can feel his intellectual stature. Day oh, one, I, love I, I sent that to Niall, and he's like, "Man, I gotta go read the comments." <laughs> it's the best part. Um, mine is the new podcast lineup should be Chris, Niall, Shane, and that GVB guy with his monkey. <laughs> oh, yeah, we talked about Garrett. Garrett. <laughs> That's jokes. Well, I don't have my phone prepared, but I do have my mask still on. Yeah. Just you know, I, po- I tested. Ne- I almost said positive. I tested negative. <laughs> It's mainly just on, you know, to humor my beloved mother, and just in case you guys manage to, you know, contract we, COVID. We all know last. the one person at this table who's gonna get it first. You're all looking at me. Shane, no. Drew's pointing at you. It's Shane. Yeah, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was like a I imagine I get it first. <laughs> It'd be and kind of funny. That's because he works in a grocery store. Mm-hmm. Still. So Rob. Okay, here we just get it over with, boys. And it was coming. Okay. Hold on. Quick interlude. I know someone that got COVID recently. Ooh. Not, 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 oh. Not, oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. No, so I had a friend that was Ross having... mom breaks through the window. <laughs> I had a friend that had to work in the States and I hadn't talked to him a while and I messaged him the other day. I'm like, hey, man, like, how's it going? He's like, oh, Dying. good, you know, been quarantining. I'm like, oh, like you back for good now? He's like, nah, man, got COVID. <laughs> so I guess he was like at work and um, he went up to his... Like, he started having a dull headache and he went up to his boss. He's like, hey, man, I got to go home. And he was like at an Airbnb there. And he's like, oh, okay, like, I'll see you tomorrow. No problem. And he's like, no, man, I'm going home. Like, and home like 20 home. minutes later, he had a huge migraine. And then he just like... He's like, fuck it. And just drove back to Canada from Michigan. Mm-hmm. Is that and a then, symptom? A migraine? Yeah. Yeah, headache. Oh. And then like well, 20 minutes a, after... Like flu, yeah. well, 20 minutes after that, he just had a huge fever. He's like, I just chewed on two Advils and drove back to Canada. Like, nice. Yeah, well, well honestly, during my research thing i discovered like pretty much anything that is like a, a symptom could mean you have covid it's like it's literally anything the that list could be the is flu. literally like this big it's yeah. like runny nose headache uh yeah. discomfort nausea it's, muscle it, soreness yeah. tar- i'm like dude I've, I've had covid my whole fucking life apparently <laughs> yeah. god damn so you're actually so much, patient zero yeah, yeah. Really. there's so much anxiety around it. like one little thing you're just like fuck well that was COVID. that was pretty much me because i thought i i was so sure i had it on last sunday it's almost i was almost convinced this like dives into a work topic we had at work is like if I get sick, could be the flu. So then I miss like a day of work. I go get tested, miss three days of work. And then it comes back negative. I don't get paid. What? I don't get paid if I miss time because I'm sick. I get paid if I miss time for COVID, but it has to be. 
COVID. So it has to be that's positive. Dumb. It's the craziest shit. That's, that's, a, nice, so that's dumb. a nice 1984 shit. And then they bro. wonder yeah. why people are coming into work <laughs> sick still. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the, the, we, it hasn't really hit crazy here yet, but if it starts doing it, that's well, when you get the moral dilemma. Because yeah. people will come into work because they have to work because they need money. Mm -hmm. My boss we, like came into work with a runny nose. We're like, you need to go home mm -hmm. and get a test. And she's like, oh, like is runny nose a symptom? And we're like... Yeah, I have a runny yeah. nose every morning. I can yeah. kind of get it from. I, I know. I've had a runny nose for like literally two years. Your life. Yeah, <laughs> I, I can kind of get it from the company's perspective because, like, do you really want to just start paying out people? Because like, oh, I think I have COVID. Yeah, and I just go get tested. There's all this but. these rumors of like trying to push through ten sick days, but uh, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure Ford like the first thing he did was like take, take destroy that. Shit away, that. Yeah. So. I, yeah. I, would, I it would be hard pressed to see him do that, but yeah, again, yeah. So if I don't test, like, I would miss say four days of work. Um, that's like that's so dumb. It's half a paycheck. I guess it's a bit different because I like can technically work from home if mm -hmm. I'm getting tested. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I don't know, especially Crazy. salary. That seems weird to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, you, you two got to get this out of the way because again, okay. I can see you both just stewing on it. So get it out. I don't know what it yeah, is. He has Christian no idea. Tell me. Do you oh. know what it is, Shane? No. Oh, but okay. I, I just I, I know. Okay, what it is. so <laughs> we'll give the timeline for the listeners. Okay. Basically. That's me. It was Saturday Andy. evening. You came over to my house. I pick popped up a, by your yeah, house. Yeah, just to pick up like a water bottle. You seemed fine. Oh. And then like the next morning you said, hey, I've been running a fever since last night. Yeah. Which was on Sunday morning. First of all, I thought you guys were like hanging out Saturday. No, no, no. no. He literally I, I, I came to grab a, a shaker I bottle. I told you that. No, you didn't. Yes, you I did. You said that in the Discord chat. Oh. I came to grab a shaker bottle that I left here. Because he even said he's like minimal contact. Was yeah. Mm -hmm. I figured that was just Rob being Rob. No. No, no, no. He literally just walked in. I grabbed the bottle, handed it to him. And at this point, I felt nothing. I was just leaving the gym i was like i feel completely fine mm -hmm. okay so anyway sunday morning you said that you felt sick mm -hmm. um like so, the previous night that you had fever and chills yeah so pretty much like i felt fine until like one in the morning and then like one in the morning comes and i'm just gaming and all of a sudden i start to feel like <laughs> i'm just i start to feel kind of like shivery and i'm like oh like this is a little weird but i just went and grabbed a blanket and i was like okay i'm still shivering you still got a game exactly <laughs> Uh, there was a new Fortnite update. I had to, you know, grind that shit out. Mm -hmm. um, and that, as Shane said, I probably I missed my '90s uh, like threshold. That's probably why yeah, I got I sick. Yeah, I messaged him when he got <laughs> sick. And I'm like, you just didn't crank enough '90s. So you <laughs> got sick. But, but then it got to the point where I'm like lying on my basement couch, like with the gas fireplace on, like three or four layers Are of you me, still and I'm just no, I was just lying there on my couch, just shivering. Like literally, could not stop shivering. Mm -hmm. So I was like, dude, I'm fucked. Like I, this is it. Like I have COVID or something. There's no way. Ah, uh, your toes. So at this point, we tell you to go get tested right yeah. and you went there and what was the wait time like four hours so i went on sunday sunday at afternoon. like 11 mm -hmm. 11 30 the same day and they were like yeah the wait time is going to be at, l at least three and a half hours and i'm thinking okay so all this i or is this gonna lead into what you were saying about the whole vikings game thing <laughs> so, so here's okay here's my rationale let me say it first before he, he makes me sound like a villain my plan was <laughs> my plan was okay i have a 12 hour window of or no about 20 hours between i was like i could wait here now miss the vikings game which ended up being a dumpster anyways <laughs> and then go on early early monday morning and then i was like okay like i'm not gonna see anyone between now and then i'm gonna stay at home and i was like okay what's the harm so i waited and then monday i went at like you went late you I forgot went, to set, I your forgot alarm. To set my alarm but i still went at like 6 50 or 7 in the morning and i got there and they were like yeah, it's still it's still gonna be at least a two and a half three hour wait, and I'm like, fuck, I have work calls, I can't m miss missing that. So I was okay, go home, and then the following Tuesday, I got up at like fucking. Well, the next day. Yeah, yeah the, next, the no. next day. <laughs> I got up at like. And then I waited a week. <laughs> I got up at like fucking five forty five, dude. That was a brutal morning. Went and got tested. The test is the worst thing I've ever felt in my entire it's life. It's a little uncomfortable. I've never. Bad. I'm not. I'm not like. Uh, hyperbolizing it if that's a word yeah that's a word it literally feels like they're sticking like imagine like a pipe cleaner that's made with like steel <laughs> wool it feels like it's being st stuffed up into the front of your brain dude and they wiggle it around and it's like my eyes There's were watering up there <laughs> my eyes were watering they and go I, real deep for him <laughs> and i like i had a bit of a nosebleed this guy into surgery <laughs> and it literally took me like you had a nosebleed yeah i was bleeding oh, you a must little have bit. just been like so dry i don't know what it was but i thought that was like that was it because mine I wasn't bleeding. that bad oh well it oh, felt it's like, like Blood, COVID. <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh. I'm sure the lady like was doing what she felt, but it literally felt like she was just kind of like sticking it in, like as like, like an assembly line with no real care. So, That's like, how the like, ladies feel when you take them home. Oh, I'm so sure. Mine, mine. <laughs> when I stick a thing up her nose, I'm sure. Yeah. 
Mine just felt like I was like tipped upside down in water and it was like going on my nose. That's what I've heard. It feels like yeah. when you go into like a lake or like, or I guess uh, ocean, you feel the salt water going up into your sinuses. Like mm-hmm. that's what I've heard. I sucked. felt like my nose was going to bleed after, but it didn't. Yeah. Like it was but, just, I don't know. Maybe you just need a better lubricated nose. I, I'm, they must have, they must have <laughs> forgot the lube. Them up. <laughs> lube. They, they must have forgot the KY jelly for my yeah. opinion. But, um, so that's the part I thought you were going to freak out at that. He didn't get tested because he wanted to watch Vikings. Well, my so, plan, my plan was I gave myself a time frame where I'm not leaving the house until I get a test back. Here, here's the thing, which is fantastic. But like, so day one, you're sick yeah, and you go and it's like four hours. So when you said that, I was like, okay, I get it. Yeah. Like that makes sense. That next day in discord, when you were like, yeah, it was like a two hour wait. And then you ended up canceling like half your calls anyway. Yeah. The next, the following For unrelated. Yeah. But that was something that I couldn't, that reason I canceled was because something pretty heavy. But like, up. yeah, yeah. Fair. But like, you, yeah. like you should have just canceled the day. Well, I didn't. I, I didn't, think the I didn't thing realize. is, like, a how are those calls? Is also like, pretty you were heavy. probably just fucking yeah. done. Like the morning after the uh, the test, it was like <laughs> the guy I was talking to was like, "Oh man, I'm half asleep," and I'm like, "Thank fuck, so am yeah. I." I'm literally just sitting there, like my nose just feels like <laughs> it's like, like I have COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I told the one person, I was like, I went to go get a COVID test, and that's a joke. They're like, "Oh, thank goodness you're up in Canada, not near me," and I was like. Yeah, good one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, good one. yeah. And then there's the other person I talked to had to had to get one earlier, but they didn't have to do the nose thing, bro. They, there was another way they can do like it. Throat they, swab. They it. down their throat, and I was like, like it wasn't even the option well, for like, me. They do, they do go through. They just go through your nose to get to your throat. It's the same location. Instead of going like, I feel up like and I would, down, they go down. I feel like I would manage the throat a little better than you'd gag. Well, yeah, I'd rather yeah. gag than have that. Well, if you again. gag, like you're. They're gonna have to keep redoing it yeah. until yeah. you stop. <laughs> You're just gonna. Sp- okay, I, it's a shitty situation, <laughs> I guess. I so, just love that I, I told Annie about how like his reaction was to test. And she's like, "What this. a baby!" I don't like, buy she, that. Yeah, she did the test. Annie had to get one. Yeah, she's like, "It was nothing." There's no way. I think the only thing I don't agree with in that story is like the the day. Like the morning after you felt sick, you should just said, "Fuck it, it's a weekend. I'm waiting." Like I woke up with a scratchy throat. And like got out of bed at seven thirty so, and drove. So the difference is, is like again, Rob, like you, you could live with just sitting at home. This guy, you were probably in your own head. You were probably going fucking crazy. Like, do I have COVID? Well, uh, do so I not? Have, well, I, yeah, Rob was so going like, crazy. So was I. Yeah. But like, it was easier for me to manage because I had like the thing was like a Fortnite I get, updates out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Drew, on the other hand, like you weren't sleeping unless you got that test. I was surprisingly calm after I got yeah. it. For me, after you got the test. <laughs> <laughs> for me, after the storm passed. But for me, it was like if I didn't, if if I didn't know that I could go the next morning, I would have just sat there and waited. If I, if it was like a, if it was like you can only get tested on weekends from here to here, I would have sat there and waited. But I was like, okay, I can come back tomorrow morning, I can go home and watch the Vikings game, yeah, not touch or talk to anyone, which I did. I stayed at home until I got my test. I got my test back. And then I left my house again. That's how I, I felt too. The, just the shitty thing was, is like it kind of, it didn't hold us up, but then we're sitting here like, well, fuck if he's positive, yeah, yeah. like, holy fuck. You had seen a ton of people. Yeah. I had Blaine seen. Is on podcast Monday. Yeah, no, the, that's what the we, week yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why we were just saying that yeah. we had seen a lot of people. <laughs> and uh, anyway, yeah, but it would have sucked. Yeah. Like, it was fucking spooky. I just I think, love that when we were talking about it, me and Sharon were both like, we don't care. Like, we'll do the podcast anyways. Yeah. And I was like, oh, like, I'll try to convince Niall. I messaged him. He's like, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, fuck <laughs> and then Niall gets here and like, like, well, what are your thoughts? And he's like, well, like, I'm fucked anyway. Yeah. So here now. <laughs> he's like, we were all in the same I was bubble. wondering what you yeah. guys were going to do because you, like, I thought you'd just in the group chat be like, oh, like, whatever, Christian would, won't do whatever. And you just didn't say anything. So nah. I was like, are they just going to sit didn't. down and talk to themselves? <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> I think I think that timeline would have pissed me off a week ago, but I've heard so many stories. He's especially with the No, especially with the like case numbers rising of people just getting discouraged with the wait times. Yeah, dude, do you want to wait? Well, now? I don't think it. Like, I, you should wait. Like, I also I kind of get it. Like, dude, the Vikings are on. It was on the yeah. news. It was on <laughs> the, the news. Were on, I mean, it was on the news today, bro. Um, so <laughs> because of this recent uptake, bro guy, people are waiting at 4.30 to go to the place I went to and they get there at 4.30 really? and it's still a two or three hour yeah. wait. The region, like it's not, the, our testing scene isn't in a good yeah. spot. That's wild. If we need yeah. more, well, more drive through. Thank God our cases are so it's, low. Yeah. It's a shitty situation of where like we actually had it under control for so it's long. Spiking a bit. And then now that it's like. Students, man. Yeah, all the students are back. Our rates have quintupled, which sounds really bad, but it went from four to 20. Yeah. Which is still four a 20. big up. But big like, uptick, if it but continues like, to grow at that rate, yeah, that's the alarming yeah. part. Super fucked. I just, we're we're I just, America. You see, Toronto had 170 cases today or yesterday. I just don't trust the students, man. I don't trust them at all. 
I cool. was a student once. Um, when me and Annie went, <laughs> I wouldn't to, trust myself. Yeah. When me, I literally would not trust myself if I was a student. <laughs> when me and Annie went to the dump the other day, we passed the by dump? like dump. What you like, go there? Just for like to to dump, dump garbage. Stuff. What the fuck? Did yeah. You think he was just hanging out having a picnic? Well, a, you know, we have garbage. <laughs> we have garbage <laughs> trucks. He's just like, I'm gonna go for a fucking swim. <laughs> like, what? we have garbage trucks that can get your garbage for you. <laughs> well, like we had more than we could get rid of in a week, so oh, we, had, my Lord. we still have a shit ton. You've seen all the boxes downstairs. I've seen all these boxes the that are so up here too. Yeah, we have so much shit. And you're knocked over. <laughs> do, they, do, they, do, they, do they see the knocked over? Hey, week, Robert, hey, Robert. week two. We don't need to go there. Dude. Week yeah. two. Still waiting for Drew and his drill, but Thursday maybe. Anyways, um, so we went to the dump, and then on the way home, we we're like, oh, we'll pass by the Booster Juice in Starbucks by the university. And Annie went to Starbucks. I went to Booster Juice. Booster Juice, Booster Juice was surprisingly good. They were like, oh, there's only five people limit. Like you have to wait outside. Yeah. Went outside. One person left. I went in. And then Annie, when she finished at Starbucks, she's like, oh, yeah, there was like five students inside sitting at different tables. All the tables were super close to each other. And none of them were wearing, wearing masks. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, Amanda was eating, talking. Man. Amanda was talking about, yeah, she's like, oh, I might go to, on like a coffee date with my friend, like to Starbucks and stuff. We need to study. I'm like, that's kind of weird. And she's like, but yeah, you don't need to wear a mask there. I'm like, what do you well, mean? It's fuck? because you can just sit. You're just sipping a drink. I guess. It's weird. Weird rules. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Weird loophole, I think. So I was driving past a high school on my way to get lunch from work. And the sheer amount of students yeah. outside yeah. packed, not where I literally saw like three masks out of maybe yeah, six hundred students. It's scary. Yeah, same yeah, same like thing. Just two weeks from now, we're... even down like the main street, you know, which like which you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. There's that school kind of right close to like the downtown area, and I was driving by, I think on Thursday or something, mm-hmm. and there's just like congregations of mo- like hundreds and hundreds of it looks like a normal school, like yeah, mm-hmm. and like you're just kind of wondering to yourself like if this is if our city gets fucked this is exactly why because schools opened up mm-hmm. and schools are the number one like high traffic areas the guess. only thing i find funny about that is for the past like month <laughs> you've just heard parents bitching about the school boards not doing enough to like not mm-hmm. putting their, their kids and there. it's your kids that are the problem yeah. if i had a kid i de- i would not be sending them oh, back right course, now well, you, you, you say that but like i don't know straight up i know i have I'm in to a go to work every single day yeah i was gonna say i know i'm in a different situation but like i would say even if i was like in a different situation i guess if the kid was older i'd yeah. be like at just, what age do you leave so, your kid at home 10. Super random question. Ten. I th- well, I what, what age home, did you guys get left what, home at? Grade five. Yeah, ten. I, I was like, I'd say like ten. nine. I, yeah. In charge yeah. of my three younger sisters, who are seven, <laughs> five, and three. The, the, you're, the, you're a different. The breed. first time I can remember <laughs> coming home and not having to worry about my parents or anything was probably like grade seven or eight. I yeah. can imagine because yeah. up until then, they, one of them would come home really to make sure I didn't like die. I was, I was yeah. the only child, and I like I went to school like not far, so yeah. they just gave me a cell phone they're like call if you have an emergency that's, that's lucky. and then they gave him a nine thousand dollar bike mm-hmm. well which, you know which probably got stolen i had to wait it either, did, but. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah man i don't know just i'm not going to the mall for like the foreseeable future yeah because like lots of students shoes. go there i went to get shoes the other day and i just <laughs> I actually just need to get i literally shoes. walked into the shoe place and it was pat i'm like nah, you just gotta time it right like yeah. you gotta go yeah. on like a wednesday fucking at like seven dude and like i only buy gas opens. even yeah. at like Late at night, well, for two reasons. Bottom online. I didn't realize gas prices are lower at night by like a dollar. Yeah. And two, I, I just meant a dollar per liter. I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> what? Um, no. I uh, just don't like waiting in line at the gas station because it's like someone's hands been right there, and chances yeah. are it's just some fucking idiot who doesn't well, bother. Do they all everywhere? No. Wipe them down, no. so it so, doesn't really matter. Yeah, I guess. This guy hasn't filled filled <laughs> a car up in like <laughs> years. I think no. they wipe them down like every once in a while. But like we're talking once, like yeah. an hour. We're talking like this so, place though. Like those guys don't give a fuck yeah. about that. One thing that a lot That's of... That's the most vague statement like, ever. I love it. Christian's house. These guys don't put... <laughs> I'm just a gas station like, up there. Yeah, yeah. They're, the people who work there are just dead I know beats. at least Petro, they have paper towels that you can use to like touch it. And they oh. put... All, you know all those clips that you can put in to hold it That's, in place? I love it so much. They took them all off because it was a safety hazard. Now they put them all back on so that... Well, so you don't have to hold it. Hazard. <laughs> Man, it's so awesome to just... Uh, now that they all have just yeah. the clips, you yeah, just yeah. sit there and you just fucking stare at it. Like It's so much nicer. Back like the good old days. Yeah, I love it. I'm not looking forward to pumping gas in the winter, though. That's one thing I don't like. When Why? it's like... Yeah. Well, because like, you're warm I mean, and your hands us, are cold. None of us, like... like well, except for you. We, we don't drive enough for... it. Like, we got to fill up... What do you fill up? Once a month? Well, these... I haven't filled my car up since fucking... But you know what I mean? Like, yeah, we, yeah, we got to yeah. fill up once a month. It's yeah. not that big a deal. Yeah, I'm like twice a week in a week. Yeah. yeah. Well, which is better than like four times in a week from yeah. before. Well, I'm not yeah. going to commute. Like, what, I think I was telling you guys this. I don't have to go back to work for like a while now. But even mm-hmm. if whenever they do kind of give that warning, like, hey, here's like, we're going to go back to work in 
a few months. Let me guess. That's what I'm saying. I still, oh, I'm trying to find a new job. See you guys. Yeah. I still remember when you got the raise and that you could stay home longer. <laughs> Fuck these places. This people. Are like, well, I hate that. <laughs> well, it's like it's like they're making it. The, you know what I mean there. I'm, I'm trying to get out of there and they're being like you hate it and you hate that they're making it better for yeah me. I'm just like make me hate you guys more and so I can quit yeah. guilt free like fuck it's weird they're actually a decent company yeah. or well, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to give them like a month of heads up because like you I'm know, currently responsible for 77 uh, client like client bases right now yeah. 77 people could email me at any point saying I need help with XYZ Mm-hmm. So, again like a month is like courtesy i guess if you oh, want to use them as a reference or something yeah but really like I, how, I would get a, a good reference out of here but how if i lasted a, or i stayed there a little longer what job are you going to get and they're going to be like okay your start date is in a month except i guess if you're annie but yeah well like yeah ideally i would like I, it'd be a really awkward conversation to have to say like hey i'm gonna quit but i don't have a job lined up i'm actively looking for one you know what i mean how do I have that conversation with you, my you manager? You don't. You find a job first. I know, but yeah. I'm saying like... I was, <laughs> this just circles back to the conversation we had. No, I, I literally would need to give them like, a, like at least no, man. three no, weeks. No, it's not your Two problem. Weeks. You, you get not, the well, job it's not my offer. problem. The, like, it's theoretically not my problem, but like my... I just feel super guilty to saying, hey, I'm out of here. See you, you guys. Get, you get the job Didn't offer you do and that you with say, the one phone place? Well, like it's different. Didn't it's you a do part, that with That's a part-time gig selling phones. Didn't you do that with the car place? That place was fuck that place, bro. Didn't you do that with... The, Every uh, other like grocery yeah. place. No, this is like a I'm prof- seeing some blurred lines. <laughs> this is, this is like, these are part. Those are part time. Fuck off jobs. This is like a professional. Like even professional jobs. Yeah, yeah. Like two weeks is normally the max you should ever have to give. Again, here, here's it's, the thing. It's just all me I'm hearing, overthinking the courteous. All I'm courteous. hearing from you is that you're 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 in the mindset of quitting again before you have another job. So here's well, the, here's the actively issue. Actively searching like doesn't mean anything to me. You don't have a job. Well, it's like I would need. I would at this point. I wouldn't say, hey, I'm quitting unless I had like a start date. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So then why... Why a second ago you're like, I'm actively searching for another job. No, I'm job. saying hypothetically, if I had to have that conversation with my current job, because mm-hmm. they've... I would... To me, they would need at least three to four weeks to get all these projects handed off. Uh-huh. That's why I'm saying this whole month thing while I'm actively searching versus having a job and quitting in two weeks. So the only concern or issue I have with your whole plan is that any job that you get... They're not going to be like, oh, you can start in a month. That's what yeah, they're yeah. going to be like. That's you start. What, that's like, my whole point. It's like that's why I'm a little stressed about it because it's like I can't get a new job and say, hey, can I start in like fucking three weeks? So anything, like, that's when we go back first. to the two week part where you're if like, anything, you just say two. You're going to burn more bridges by getting a new job and then be like, oh, sorry, just not working anymore. Mm-hmm. That's what. I, that's my whole point. You guys, yeah. That's what so I'm trying to weeks. say. So two weeks. Man, somebody long ago did the math for you. Two weeks notice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two weeks would probably be enough to hand off everything, but again, it's just the optics. It's not, it's not your here's the thing. It's not going to be enough, and it's not your issue. Yeah. If they yeah. realize after they're like, oh, we can't do this, like we need him, that's their own problem. And they're not, I don't think that they'll hold you personally responsible for you going well, to get they, another they, job. They legally Plus, can't. It's that like that type I'm, of management is probably why you'd be leaving in the first place. Mm-hmm. Also, to my point, it, for the whole reference thing, uh, it like, is illegal for them to say anything bad about you in a reference call. Yeah, but you can just sit there and say, that I have nothing. Wait, have wait, nothing. it's illegal? Yeah, you can just yeah they, can't, they can't. They can't be like they can't badmouth you to a new employer. They can only. <laughs> they can only say positive things. Yeah. Or like tell them the truth that they're like, um, was there ever any issues here? Then they can be like, okay, this happened. So you legally, but, oh, what but the they legally hell? cannot say like, but like, this is a garbage employee. You don't can, hire them. You can by you you can circumvent that many ways yeah by like you your could. tone by your like yeah. hey i'm not gonna yeah, actually answer any of these. yeah but you know what yeah. i mean yeah <laughs> but like they're not gonna just straight up be like yeah he's garbage don't hire him because mm-hmm. rob fucking sucks i'm pretty sure the whole legal precedence for that is just like that would make it so that your current employer can hold on to you longer when the thing is is like there's no there. there's no fucking way anyone would ever know nine no, times out of yeah. ten like unless you got the rat on the other end yeah. of the line. like most <laughs> of the time that's just like hey by the way this guy actually kind of blows Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. It's never mm-hmm. gonna happen. Shane's done that multiple times. It was really no, cool. fuck no. At my first co-op, my they were actively. Why do I keep saying actively hiring? What the fuck. They were. You want to be more active. They were looking. Like and people were doing interviews. And my part of my job at the time was to like help, help my boss run the interviews. And it's so kind of cool being on the other side of the inter- interview process, man. Being like and judging everyone. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> watching people come in and get all nervous but, oh like what are your biggest strengths and like you're still on the other side of the table for once and these people are like sucking up to me some random i was like 20 years old at the time some random co-op student being like hey like 
like your shirt, champ. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like just being like, because they think I have some sort of say if they get hired or not. I'm like, dude, I'm a co-op student. I'm here for like three more months. I, got I, was like, I did that once for uh, when I was applying for a co-op. Yeah. It was just like they had the other student co-ops <clears throat> that I'd be replacing <clears throat> there. And then they're like, oh, do you have any questions? So then I just asked her, I was like, hey, like, how do you like the workplace? Like anything yeah. you want to tell me? And then she t told me. She's like, this place fucking sucks. This, uh, didn't get the job. <laughs> but I thought that was, I was like, I did well with that. Yeah. Have, have I gone on my LinkedIn rant on on the pod before? How much, I, how much I hate LinkedIn? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, I just, it's maybe? just, it's just the biggest bull, the bullshit social media platform in the oh, entire just... world. <laughs> Everyone's just po posting their own personal puff pieces. Like, oh man, I got an Uber this morning and my Uber driver told me he's like down on his luck, blah, blah, blah. I hired him to be my <laughs> vice president of finance and now we've quadrupled our sales this quarter. <laughs> or it's like, I found some homeless dude on the, on the street and said, Hey, you want to come be my like CEO? And now we're you know what I mean? All these mm -hmm. like virtue Is signaling lies. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've never used it. So scroll I don't know. through LinkedIn. It's just people oh. just boasting. Like I read one yesterday. No word of a lie. I think I screenshotted it on my phone. He's like, <laughs> he's like, I held this guy says, oh, I held this door open for his lady back when I was applying for a job. Turned out she was my, she was the hiring manager for the job I applied for. And she hired me because I was so nice to her. It's like, dude, you're so full of goddamn shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's I, literally just like that happened is yeah. LinkedIn. Oh. And I, I would I, love to see your LinkedIn profile if you're like out of a job. <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought LinkedIn was literally just like, you can see someone's work history in that. It's so. like, it's like, like a resume. Well, it's but like, supposed uh, to be, yeah, it's supposed to be like an online resume, but it's turned into. It's turned into people just trying to get hired by just bullshitting. Gotcha. It's turned into Facebook that people, you know, present themselves a little bit nicer. A nice. little bit. These people, you'd think half these people are fucking Gandhi's rel distant <laughs> relative. <laughs> Jesus. Amazing. That's actually going to be Rob's next LinkedIn piece. I am Gandhi's distant <laughs> relative. I can't touch LinkedIn anymore. I just cringe uncontrollably whenever I look at I it. I, like, I, I go into the app every once in a while and get rid of the notifications. Yeah, me too. I will say I'm that also employed, so I do. Yeah, me too. Yeah. When I... Uh, <laughs> no big deal or anything. <laughs> did I, when I did one of my, like presentations when i was at twitchcon it was like for corsair they want me to talk to a bunch of students one person like put up their <laughs> hand and recommended they're like you should all get linkedin and you're just and like, Fuck I was like that. what do you mean and he's just like well like as a content creator you don't realize how valuable like putting your profile out there for other companies to see is i was like but like we don't need to look for a job or anything yeah. just like well it could be really good for you to network with people and find them through there i was like it, okay it sure. doesn't, it doesn't, i guess you could technically network like, yeah. yeah like but maybe for sponsorships but what like, else, like, honestly but for the person who's like handling the sponsorships isn't looking yeah, on yeah, linkedin for, for, for a content for creator you're better off posting your shit on like twitter and being mm -hmm. like here's my mon yeah. here's my tricks trick shotting montage and then people are gonna be like mm -hmm. considering and you're like an influencer creator you may as well use social media yeah well, i guess LinkedIn, but linkedin but linkedin it's media, like i wouldn't even call linkedin social media at this point technically it's like yeah. it's technically social media but it's just like you know youtube is technically social media yeah yeah, mm -hmm. I would really. I would say it's a video platform or it's something. Technically, social media because you can interact. I guess with people there's like on there. I didn't really like post like you post like media. stories and yeah. shit on there now too. What? Mm -hmm. what well, social, even before that, it was still considered it. Does social? Does any social media minus Twitter not have stories on it now? There's like Messenger, Facebook, Facebook. Instagram, YouTube. They're all jumping in that. Stories Twitter? like what? Like on Snapchat, it's like, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, stories. Yeah. Does Twitter mm -hmm. have stories? No, not yet. Just, didn't you no. just? That's my bad. I, I don't think you just, I said, just that, said that. Yeah. Minus Twitter, yeah, but it's all good. We'll let it slide. Yeah. No, we won't. <laughs> but, <laughs> wait, no, <laughs> we does won't. Twitter have it? No. You've been gone Twitter for too long, bro. We don't, uh, we don't let shit slide around here. Yeah. Oh, God. Bring up the guillotine, like, eh? Yeah. The only thing that... Back to, like, our conversation from 20 minutes ago. I don't even remember what we what? started on. <laughs> um, COVID? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Shane. Yeah. The only thing that pisses me off is listening to the radio on my way home from work. And hearing everything they're saying, like they're trying to be different, and it just sounds like the exact same bullshit that yeah. was said in these in trying times. No, 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 because they're like, "Oh, the cases are rising, but that's okay. We're like lowering the amount of people. It's like we've yeah. done all this. People need to stay home. Lowering the amount of people. Where the <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. What is the government doing? Just well, killing people, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it literally sounds like the exact same. Like, oh, we don't know what the second wave is going to come in February. Like, oh, we don't know about this first wave. It just pisses and me literally, off. Literally, like, we didn't learn anything from February. Yeah, it's all this the same. Well, what shit. pisses me off is like I watch the news. I tell my parents to stop watching the news because it's just depressing as fuck. Yeah, it's, it's like it's dark. It's just right like now. it's CNN will have like this giant ticker of like I'm like, why are you looking at this? This is just like fear mongering. These are numbers from all the way back in March. They just make them look 
They, they put it right there to scare you. Well, I mean, that is like a valid number to show. Oh, I know, but it's just like, <laughs> like the the news doesn't give a fuck about being like proactive or being positive or no. like anything. I uh, it's all about like. To be fair, if they were positive, they would make no money. I that's the that's the whole point. Yeah, yeah. it's like they're driven by people buying into the the fear, which there obviously is like a tangible fear, but it's like every day it's like covid 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 be scared like don't yeah. leave your house your, your parents are and family are gonna die if you don't do exactly per- this and personally shit. i would rather them do that than to be like it's fine don't worry about it well i would just rather them be like hey we're in this together i know this is kind of like kumbaya for the, a news channel <laughs> to do but it's like <clears throat> have, like just fucking just, like, lighten up a bit you know what i mean yeah. like you're there's hunt there's millions and millions and millions of people watching the news every day and they're just getting to de- probably likely getting depressed or taking some sort of emotional hit from being like damn like the world's fucking like pretty much ending at this point the yeah. one the one thing i'll agree with with media outlets is recently kind of like that do you guys know about the panama papers mm-hmm. i don't know what that is to that be was honest like four years ago yeah, they just yeah. fucking disappeared what is that it's basically like uh, what was it a list of all these different pretty much everybody that's wealthy. wealthy yeah so panama has like a safe haven for taxes and it's stuff like so people would like accounts. yeah it's where people put their money there in switzerland right or, so it was yeah. like yeah. it was like documents listing all the like top names that are like actually a part of those types of things And then two days ago or yesterday, they came out with like basically the same type of thing, which like these top 10 big banks that are still helping, like actively letting letting, like criminals put money through their accounts. Mm -hmm. And the media was like, this is awful. Like the money's are in on all this, or banks are in on all this money laundering. But like at the same time, if we suspect fraudulent activity, we take it to like whatever. I don't even know. What's our FBI? The, the Mounties, CIA. RCMP. Is it the RCMP? That yeah, they're the equivalent of the CIA. Mm-hmm. So well, like, if you fuck up bad enough, you just really? get to, you just get mm-hmm. locked in a room with a bunch huh. of moose, and you have to have to survive for a night. Meese. And then yeah. you're meese. Is that actually the thing? No, no. no. <laughs> it's <in> mooses. <laughs> mooses, moose Any. eye. And these aren't just normal moose. These are fucking like <laughs> like bamp creme de la moose. crop. Oh, yeah. yeah, they're fucking huge. <laughs> Did you not know RCMP is like FBI CIA equivalent? Well, it depends. Isn't that like, like out west? The only no, like. The well, only out issue west, I have with that more is like, like out OPP. West. Yeah. Well, but like here, they're like, yeah. they're undercover agents that gotcha. go like international. That's no, why I, I have no idea. Because I know that in like basically mm-hmm. everywhere but Ontario, west. like the RCMP are the provincial police. And the only mm-hmm. reason you know that is you're a snitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's a, he's a <laughs> fucking narc. This guy leaked these yeah. documents. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's a narc, yo. Or <laughs> but my like, brother works for them. Like, we're supposed to alert authorities, but like, we're not supposed to close the accounts because that tips off the organizations. So it's like, Kind of, yes, and I wouldn't doubt if there was some, like, some sketchy stuff yeah. going on somewhere. Oh, but of course. at the same time, they're just, like, hyping it up to be this huge, like, huge story when in reality they're following protocol. Man, yeah. two things. Number one, criminals got a bank, too. That's yeah. true. That's like, true. Just, have, just take their business. They, they have they, sons and daughters. We can get a lot yes. of interest off yes. them. Number two is, like, those Panama Paper things were huge, massive news for a month or two. And then for three and a half years, how much do you hear about them? Zero. I don't know that. what they fucking were. Correct. So Until this is today. a massive story today. This is a massive story this week. Give it two weeks. You'll never hear. It. I, I, yeah. I got cycled out, and what what will come back in is like political division and, and all COVID those, and something all, else. All those people named in the Panama Papers, Panama. <laughs> there's they're probably still doing it. Probably. Yeah, like it didn't change anything. Well, there was no yeah. laws that changed. The they're just like yeah. hey, probably. <laughs> <laughs> What's the what's the uh, list of like government officials? The Sunshine List. The sunshine list? Oh, that was the my, best. My mom's wait, on that list. I actually didn't hear that. They're, no, no, no. This Don't is expose just, like, it. No, like oh. basically like all the like if Anyone you make over a certain amount, you work for the government. It's all public information. Yeah. Oh, I it's thought awesome. it was like a list of like a corrupt no, government no, no, no. officials. And Rob's like, no. my mom's on that. <laughs> my, my mom is on that list. So my roommate the other day is like, oh dude, like I found my brother on the Sunshine List. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, because like, they have to be open about how much they earn and yeah, yeah, yeah. it's all government officials. It's cr- some of them are just it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's really? Yeah. Hmm. Even Trudeau, he makes like four hundred thousand dollars as a base salary. Yeah, but that's, that's not even the top. There's got to be higher than that. Yeah, that's it. Well, how much? But is no, it, there's got to be higher. Right? Doesn't the governor said, general make more than Trudeau? Yeah, probably. Yeah, but don't, I think don't some like, like police chiefs make more than that? Oh, probs. probably. Yeah, I, I would assume like the head of the Toronto police would make probably make mad money, mad, which is yeah. nuts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Absolutely, donkey bonkers, nuts. bro. Just mm-hmm. big drooping donkey nuts. Just crazy. Bro. Like all you are is a project <laughs> manager at that point. Yeah, literally. Correct. 
project. You, you're, or you, you're, you're pretty much just there to go to the police chief and say that Real, to them. But no, <laughs> realistically, you're all you're as a project manager. You're a, you got to be really good at delegating. Yeah, yeah. You're just a project manager with a pistol. It's like, it's like show me your six, <laughs> show me your six sigma fucking certification, bitch. I <laughs> throwing that extra bitch someone, in there. I had someone in a professional setting that I was like asking about them and stuff. They're like, yeah, I think I'm like sigma six black belt, and I'm like. What's that? Yeah, it's just. <laughs> yeah, that so it's like you survive some online course that takes like a week. Like, congrats. Nice. <laughs> some people are like really into it, though. Yeah. They're like, it's like the biggest deal. And I'm Wait, like, what is know. it actually? It's just like you get certified to be a project manager. It's basically like, a like social yeah. skills. Oh, I thought you were talking about like environment. actual being a black belt in karate. Me too. I was so confused. I'm like, oh, like how long have you been doing karate? Wait, someone She's said like, they were oh. a black belt in Six Sigma? Yeah. That's fucking. And I'm like, oh, how long have you been doing karate? I literally <laughs> asked her. And I was, it was like my first year working. She's like, oh, like, uh, it's not that, it's this. How Look long have you up. been doing karate for? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, if you say you're a black belt, I feel like. Yeah, I'm going to assume you're talking about some sort of martial arts. You know yeah. what I mean? Fuck that. It was but ridiculous. Never my karate again. chopped the projects. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have a drastic change of pace. Thank God. <laughs> I hit plat in Rainbow Six. On <laughs> Thursday, Friday. I'm only laughing. Is that, is that crazy? It was, <laughs> it's just funny when you look at his account. Yeah, it's uh, like a 0. 0.6 KD. Fucking, like a okay, fucking doggo. Dude, that was hilarious. Yeah. I, your dying. tweet, I, I laughed at your response. It was great. Yeah, let me. Perfect. Let me. Okay, so here's what happened. I tweet it. I'm super happy. And there's two types of people in this world. Yeah. People like <laughs> that are nice to say, oh, like, He's, he, he probably got carried, but whatever. I'll, which, say, I'll say congrats. Which, uh, to be fair, the group chat yeah. was actually very, very, very happy. uplifting. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck And is then nuts? there's fucking Doggo. <laughs> goes and screenshots my play... Not even my recent games. Just my placements. What I have tweets, to wonder is... You can't... Where do I get this kind of carry from, man? It's like, dude... It was funny. He screenshotted the 10, 10 old games that didn't... like. I had played like seven or eight since then. Wade stats were pretty different. Like, <laughs> KD went from like 0.5, pretty funny, to like 0.78. And then he, he, but he tweets the old picture. He's like trying to fucking assassinate my character. Rob, bro. first off, you and Money Talks are probably the only two people who didn't find that funny. Maybe Shane. I think Shane would maybe find I that funny. I thought it was funny, but yeah. I thought his response was great. Well, he's just, he's just straight up hating, bro. Like, get out yeah. of here. Do something else with your time. Here, okay, you just tell he, me his one eye and you're done with it. The thing is, well, though, I don't Rob, care people who can't, if you can't change it about yourself, I won't make fun of it. You can't. Get another eye. Yeah. Rob. We have the technology. <laughs> the thing is, though, you can't sit there and pretend like you've never done something like that where you roast someone like, as, like, fun. But not on, like, that kind of, like, scale. I've, like, yeah. On what scale? <laughs> like, he literally tweeted, like, he took a, a he falsified. Not when 10 people could see it. He falsified Dogos, a screenshot. Dogos fucking famous now. He falsified a screenshot to <laughs> games that even matter. It was a real screenshot. He photoshopped it. <laughs> games that, I didn't, hadn't played, like, any of those games in that, like, screenshot in over a week. There's been all all new fresh games that I made That's to play jokes. with. So Again, technically, I, you should have averaged it. I thought technically, no, yeah. it it's, still, it's still like a zero point six or zero point seven. My KD is point seven eight on the new screenshot. Yeah, but what's your war zone KD? Who cares? It's like one point nine. Different conversation. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. I read your your thing, and then like, or you told us that, and then you linked Doggo's comment. Fucking Doggo <laughs> Pie was Doggo it Pie was so funny, and then your reply, I thought that was hilarious too. Just Good. having none of it. Dude, Doggo Pie screwed over to Christian's DMs. Look at what Rob just did, bro. It's so funny, man. I loved it. I, I thought it was hilarious. Too. But your again, your reply my, was perfect. My favorite part about it all, Bling roasted Rob. Why? What did he say? Yeah, he was just like, dude, he got so carried. No, <laughs> Bling was like, just Bling like, was like, your ego blew up after you got plot. I'm like, dude, and Bling, your ego blew up after I gave you mod. Like, oh no! Like Bling actually was just like, Rob does not deserve plot, and I was like. Welcome back, Bling. Yeah. Bling, you can that's why home. that's why Bling said that because Rob just roasted the shit out of him. No, I, I would, dude. Bling took a random shot, bro. I was just chilling. Rob's Rob, just like unbanning. But to be fair, you have to admit that, like, given your record and like yes. looking at it objectively, you do understand you don't deserve it right now. You're working towards yes. it and you are improving. I would say, at the Thanks, like, as of today, <laughs> as of today, if I could place myself, I'd say high gold two. That's, that's where I, I would, place myself. Yeah, me too. Plat, obviously, <laughs> money. Money went pretty crazy in those games. What was his KD? Do you know? Like, like he went like ten and two, eight okay. and three. <laughs> but like the rest, it was just him really doing well. The rest of us, I was playing like support. I went positive every game. But when I was, I went, po- dude, I, I have a screenshot. I got MVP in the game but before but, my plaque. When I was I went watching, six and two, four assists, and we got MVP as mute. On you, the scoreboard, he he always sat like pretty much like three 
too. Yeah. He was always in that middle spot. Yeah. You sound like me talking about my five stack where I'm just like, yeah. I have a 0.9 KD. I'm like, I'm support. Yeah. Like, well, I, was, I, was I played Monty. Like, dude, we were giving precise call outs. We, <laughs> we, we found these two guys who were also trying to push to plat. So it worked out that we were all in the stack together. We were like, communicating. We had good teamwork. We won four games in a row. I went positive every single game, except for the first one, every single game on that platinum stream. And then I was so happy with myself, checked her, and then fucking this guy and Doggo <laughs> trying to take a shit on it. If it makes you feel any better, if Doggo hadn't said that, I would have. Yeah. Well, I would have rather you say it versus Doggo because we're Cause he knows friends. He's being an asshole. Yeah. Doggo was just being a I don't know. little I think prick it that the day. Other way around too. If you were to post that on, on Doggo, it's like I think he'd get pissy. Too. Yeah, he'd fucking shit himself. He'd run over to Christian. Look what Rob just did, bro. <laughs> he definitely would not. You're over or you're no. over exaggerating. Nah, there's no shot. Yeah, it would, it would hurt. He him. would definitely do that. From my experience, from seeing that, Doggo definitely takes it with more of a grain of salt than you do. You get a lot more. Well, I just don't, I don't know about that. it. I don't yeah. know, man. I, Dog I know was, both of you. I know how both of you operate. Yeah, I know for a fact that you would take it I more I think personally. Dog was just jealous, bro. He's been, <laughs> he's been crying on Twitter about how bad Siege crying. has been to him the last few weeks. So maybe this is boiled over for him. See, this, this one is getting the personal. Is so funny. Whenever, like, whenever I was playing a bunch with Christian and I just, like, whenever I got to plat, people in the lobby like, oh, Drew, you cared to plat? I'm like, yeah, what's your, what's your yeah, point? Yeah, I have plat. You don't. <laughs> enjoy, so why, didn't, enjoy, why didn't you enjoy take spectating it like that? me with my platinum charm? Will you have your fucking... Who knows what charm you have on your Copper. shit? Yeah. Aluminum fucking three. Yeah, literally. <laughs> so that's how you should take it, Rob. Take I it. I did take it. I just didn't understand why Doggo had to go out of his way to post <laughs> it's not that a, screenshot. It's Twitter, Rob. Like, you're taking it way too personally. <laughs> yeah. Hey, maybe I am taking it personally. Who cares? If you did it, I wouldn't care. And if you guys did it, I wouldn't care. Someone I, I, someone I don't really know does that kind of irks me. That's fair. That's Twitter. Yeah, that is Twitter in a nutshell. That's yeah. the Twitter yeah. version. But yeah, so that's, why, that's why I'm not mad. Rob can have the response yet. I mm -hmm. thought it was good. It was perfect. <laughs> That's, I've said my piece. I love it. <laughs> Rob Let us know in the comments below if Rob overreacted. <laughs> well, you gotta dig up the comments and stuff. I thought it was just funny. I read both and was laughing my ass off. I was just like, I was just ruined that. Well, not ruined. I just, it loved, just it dampened this my This guy mood. was so mad too. He had it on Twitter. Wasn't it hidden? Yeah. And he's like, fuck it. I'm on hide again. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I was I was actually gonna screenshot and post on Twitter. Oh, yeah, like, like a that's, tweets. that's the part I laughed at the most. The fact that you just well, I was like, <laughs> I was the worst, You know, you're drawing more attention to it because it actually pops well, up being like it's hidden. The hidden tweet thing works in inverse because every time you see like the tweets have been hidden by the author, you're like, fuck, I want to see what this guy's hiding. I always here. do. I'm like, what did they hide? And it's mm -hmm. all just the same shit. Under roasting Meta, comments. When it's like comment deleted by moderator. I'm like, I I need to figure <laughs> yeah. out what this is. Yeah. Well, it's usually just like the n word or something really fucked if it's like that. But fair. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, I'm over it. You know, I got plot. Are you? Are you? I thought it was funny. If you're not yeah, in plot, man. you're a fucking shitter. You might we need well to get Robin to Among Us more often. Yeah. Oh, we Among just Us need has to, been really fun. We just need to pin like him what and Doggo. I've been playing a lot against each other, and it'll <laughs> be who? really funny. Like everybody, I played with you guys the one time. I, I we played we played a few times together. Yeah, I think. we played together. We got shit on. Yeah. Well, there was. I'm that, playing on Friday. I'll be there. Off stream. I'll play on Friday. That was interesting. Yeah, there was that one game that Nile and I were the imposters and. I thought we were gonna win because Drew was just letting me gonna let just let me kill him outside, <laughs> and then I was like, I gotta kill two more people, Drew and one other person. Okay. That pisses. We literally made a decision that it was Rob that we needed to vote off. So I Welcome saw I saw us. priest <laughs> I saw priest and whoever uh, priest and Becca they were in the like meeting room, and I was just expecting them, you know, as soon as they could hit emergency, we'll vote Rob off. That's fine. Like we, so I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna go fucking dick around with Rob. <laughs> so we're running around a rock. And then they like find my body and report it through the Drew, why did you run away like you're throwing? But like we all knew <laughs> you who it was. Were, you though. looked like, kind of. like you, you looked like groups. you're gonna hit the emergency button. Like what like do Wait, I need to hold your Rob? hand through all of it? Was it Rob that was the imposter one time where you uh it was like three versus one and you just ran next to him and like stood yeah, next to him? That's what I'm talking about. The same one. Yeah. But yeah. they were in the emergency meeting, they just had to hit the button and vote him out. And yeah, but like, like you're so throwing. The so issue is okay, so he kills you. If he called an, uh, an emergency, or if I sabotage, they can't hit the button, and then he has enough time to kill someone else, and you lose what because do you, mean you they decide can't hit the button. No, but, oh, like because you can't call an emergency like meeting while the sabotage. Yeah, I was, I wanted Nile the sabotage, but so if you like, like you actually, you actually almost threw the entire match. See, I didn't know. Match. I feel like everyone just plays this game expecting you know every little rule because they just fucking. Have you been watching a lot of people play? Like there was one where you were, there was one where you were last imposter, and we kept the round going because we're like, well, fuck, we could throw everything away if we vote someone off wrong. Because remember, yeah. I was like, don't stay in a room with Drew by yourself. 
and this kid chases me from fucking one side of the map all the way around. I'm doing laps of the map. And then I get back and they call emergency meeting. Christian's like, man, if it wasn't Drew, I was going to call you out, Shane. Like, if he didn't kill somebody else, there I was calling so you out. There were so many things that Shane was doing. I was like, I think it's Shane. I spent the whole round running from Drew. <laughs> like before we It was muted. just the suspicious things because you kept running up to me. And I'm like... What is I, he doing? I run up to Christian, circle him. Drew walks in. I run out. Drew follows me. And Christian's like, Dude, my, Shane's being my suspect. My first thing to do is die. And like, I know who the imposter is. So I just follow them around. I'm like, get him, get him, get yeah. him. And I just start killing him. Literally, like, should, the last thing you said before we moved it is, don't stay alone with Drew. And I see Shane go off by himself. I'm like, I literally, right, let's do it. I had two tasks I need to finish. And this guy chased me. Every I couldn't do my tasks. But then no. I think you just random killed but someone. But I think you guys had like a pretty good idea that it was me. Well, we, and it was like, there was like five people that have well like, there was no and way then at that win. point there was like christian was on vitals priest was on it was me and becca admin. becca was on becca, admin and, and, we were just, and that's why i didn't want to go with you i was like i know becca's good i'm just hanging out with her yeah the thing of us is dies, it's like good. Reason, what always fucks me over is like i'll pretend to do a task and then like becca will call me and she's like rob took like five seconds <laughs> to do wires much only take you 10 he's the imposter like that, that's, that, the that's the shit that i have yeah. like, yeah. i can't play defend enough myself to care about so that. i used to hate that like the common task mm-hmm. thing i hate it but at the same time now i'm just gonna do the same thing every time when you when it starts if you like you can start running as the screen's like loading yeah so i'm already off the ship when the game starts yeah so if there's a common task i'll circle back but as soon as that thing pops up that one game where i'm like priest called the emergency meeting right away i'm like priest i get it i i just didn't do the task i'll be back for it like yeah, it's like, it's like I don't really care for people it. like people it know how long stuff. Yeah, for me it's like I don't know these technicalities. Yeah, uh, you'll get there. So I played with like my buddies. It was their first time, and it was so easy just to fucking just. Well, that's the their right. ass. Yeah. So if you go like that route, where it's just like, oh, it's not really as fun anymore because it's just a See, shit we're, show. We're now or, all like really competitive. It's sick. Yeah, I like so like for us still. it's fun. I'm sure for you guys it kind of sucks when you're new and we're like, me, okay, it, well, I mean, like, through, why did it take you ten hours to do? Yeah, exactly. Or it's like. Oh, what task were you just doing in like electrical room A? I'm like, where the fuck was that? I think it was, like, it was annoying when people were asking me that when they knew that it was my first time. They're like, what well, task this is how are you, you learn? learn? Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. They're like, you're the imposter. Vote it off. I'm like, yeah. I right. don't know. There's yeah. nothing better though than, or there's nothing worse than when you're actually like an, an innocent person and you're fucking swiping the card 30 times and you yeah. fuck it up and someone's like, why were you on that so long? I'm like, it takes this long. Or Simon Says, where you fuck it up once, so you have to reset, and yeah. then something's called, and they're like, why were you there so long? I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm just I not suck. capable. I suck. Yeah, the I the first time suck. I played, it was the man on the ship where you have to go like one, two, three, four, five, six. It, yeah. Yeah. I didn't understand that it's like you have to go in order. I thought you were trying to do some sort of math equation the whole time. <laughs> so I'm like... Rob's like 10 minus 9, that's 1. I'm like, I'm like, guys, how do I get like... How do I go like... So how do we do this? And everyone's like... One, two, three, four. And I'm, I'm thinking of like do, or counting or something. I'm just like, what does that mean? What does one, two, three, four, five mean? Like, you guys aren't doing shit. Yeah. And then I was just like, Rob. I think it was, I think that I could, it was Becca being like, yeah, Rob took so long to do this. So he's definitely the imposter. I'm just like, I don't know. It's, I'm like, how do I defend myself by saying, like, oh, I didn't, yet. I didn't know what the yeah. task was. It's like, huh. No, Last it's, time we it's had so fun. a few games that almost got ruined by chat, like Doggo, someone in, in my chat, like it was me and I think Shane is the imposter. And then someone went to Doggo's chat and he's like, it's Shane and Chris. So oh. we got to come up with a better plan than what Doggo did there, though. Mm-hmm. So Doggo was like, so guys, it was spoiled for me, but I'll just sit here and I'll not do anything. But so immediately everyone's like, he's good. So when yeah. it came down to me, mm-hmm. Doggo, two others, like Doggo was the realistically the only guy I could pin it on because the other two linked together yeah. and they already knew. But to fear, like, what do you do at that point? Like, we, if, we should have yeah. voted him off the ship. If he, like, genuinely. I guess, but like, yeah. even as an imposter at that point, but, like, I feel bad because that kind of ruins then, it. Then, that, for then, us, it's like a. Then false restart thing. the round because mm-hmm. there was no way I could have won that game. Yeah. Um, it's kind of impossible to circumvent that. Yeah. 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 The yeah. only way to, like, the, then restart the round. The like, only way I've seen, like, the bigger two minute delay channels do it is, like, either delay or they just don't look at chat at all. But, like, yeah. that's also for channels with thousands of viewers. So for them, it they're makes sense. They're not looking chat to begin with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, do you, re- I guess you do read through chat while you're playing. I read too. through, I'll, I'll do it sometimes. Like, I'll usually just like when we spawn back in, I'll look at chat mm-hmm. and then like say one or two things and the rest around, I'm just focused on the screen. Mm-hmm. Which makes sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it's like, I got bugged or something last time. So I got imposed like seven times in a row and I was just like, I was kind of, dude, fucked. I'm so pissed. Cause I, yeah. I, I was like, this is like boring. Cause I'm, well, not boring. It's just like, I know how this is going to end because I'm going to kill two people and then I'm going to fuck up some sort of super technical thing and everyone's going to be like, what were you doing in hallway XYZ with this person? I'm going to be like, I'm going to be like, fuck. Oh. Yeah. And then it's like, got to a point where it's like, 
I feel like everyone knew that the game was bugged to an extent because everyone was super sus of me right off the yeah. bat. And I was <laughs> yeah. just like... We were just like, vote Rob out right away. I didn't even done, haven't killed anyone yet. And everyone's like, so Rob, where were you? I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah, I wish I could get more imposter rounds. I think when we played for three hours the other night, I got imposter once. It was with me. You. Yeah. We fucked it. Strictly RNG. Dude, that was... Yeah, we were, were close. We fucked. I think so. He was there, but yeah, well, probably like, it was not there. there just, you... Yeah, me and Shane just kept reporting. <laughs> we kept reporting each other's bodies. There was one we, where, like, we reported all the bodies. So, just me well, and yeah, him. that was the one. So, oh, yeah, that were, yeah. <laughs> so, so I, so I see I, the. I didn't know you were imposter either, so I was extra pissed. Okay, so I see the cameras on. So anytime I'm imposter and I look, I see cameras on. I'm going to kill that guy because there's there's only ever one guy on the cameras. Easy kill, run away. So I go in. I see Christian. So as I'm leaving, I'm like, okay, whatever. He's on cameras. Drew's outside the door. I'm like, (laughs) get Drew and run away. And then Christian, like... I was on cameras for like 30 seconds after that, just sitting. on my screen, it's like a T intersection. I'm running down this way. Shane comes this way, kills me, goes down. And then literally a second later, Christian... It was a long time. It was like 30 seconds. No, no, no. It was not. No, because I saw... When I was on the cameras, I saw Shane go to admin. For like that like was 15 seconds uh, later, and then I saw Becca go to admin. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna go down to admin, and then I walked down. I was like, what the fuck? The, shitty, body the is? shitty thing no, is, is by the unless unless did you vent? Shane no. went off my screen, and then you came on, and I messaged Shane like, you lucky bastard, the because shitty, you were that close behind him to finding the, the body. The shitty thing is, is that by the time I, I was long gone, I was like, oh yeah, I'm in the middle of the map, doesn't matter, and everyone else is like, okay, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. It literally the only person on the left side of the map was Christian, <laughs> and yeah. that fucked us over the next round. But the next round was even worse. I kill somebody at the, at the lights, and I leave them there. I do a full lap of the map. A Dude, full, I was so pissed. A full lap of the map, and nobody goes and fix the lights. So when I went back to fix the lights a second time, the body's still there. I'm like, now I have to, I have to, because yeah. if someone walks in, that body's there. I have and then to the one before that was I reported it because you killed them, and yeah. I was like, oh, no one's fixed lights. Like maybe I'll go over and kill someone who's fixing it. I walk in, there's a body. I'm like, fuck me. <laughs> it was just unlucky yeah we reported like i think six out of the seven bodies we just or, messed it up at the end because yeah. we it was like a 3v1 and what we should have done is instead of we called the reactor thing right away mm-hmm. um we should have waited like i should i was trying to kill someone on cooldown and then call the reactor so they run up yeah. or call lights so i'll just sit on the lights and fucking flip switches <laughs> and then kill them as they come off the lights we would have won but we were like a second away i would have probably done the same but the good thing is, is like as long as I feel as long as you win one imposter round, me and yeah. Niall won our round. It's mm-hmm. fun, man. There's no other game like it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, like what game was most similar to Among Us? If you could just see uh, Town of Salem. But this is just a better version. I've never heard of either of those. Maybe that's just my own fault. There, there's a lot of like so we used imposter to, we played type a lot, games like before. But it, there, there's nothing that's exactly the same. Obviously, okay. mm-hmm. like this see is really well. see is uh kind of similar to like dead by daylight where like the good people have to go get stuff done and then the yeah. imposters have to like oh, blend I in i do know what that game yeah is, and yeah. then town of salem's like there's 50 different roles everyone gets mm-hmm. like different stuff some people their goal is to kill everyone some people are like find the mafia and kill them it's mm-hmm. everyone's fucked. got different goals yeah fucked. yeah it's definitely uh i'd say it's like this well there's been a lot of games this year that have been like the game there was like Among Us is kind of the big game on Twitch now. Before this was Fall Guys. Mm-hmm. Is Fall Guys dead? No. C- can we call it dead um, yet? It. I actually was surprised the other day. I saw it had three hundred fifty thousand people dead. watching. And like as soon as that it season two waves. launches, it's yeah. gonna fucking spike. And I haven't. I haven't watched down. Fall Guys streaming forever. I don't know if it's dead or not. Like I just I don't see much. It about died it. down a bit because Among Us came out and also or not um, uh, came out but like resurfaced yeah. Yeah. and then also because uh, for Fall Guys. Tim like they didn't really win. change anything yeah, yeah. it's been yeah. sitting for a while and they're like oh new season in a month yeah that's yeah. what i mean like, so oh. we've we're we've got to be pretty close to that new season now so when that like comes two out, weeks or a week from now yeah, so when that comes out you'll see a big spike again mm-hmm. their twitter account is still pretty entertaining though yeah it's jokes yeah but like yeah. i feel like tim winning was like the climax of that like current fall guys phase for sure oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah imagine getting how much did you earn it was fucked. like fifteen thousand dollars for winning that's your first ever fall guys uh-huh did you get fifteen thousand dollars when you won? I didn't. Know, I don't, I've never won on while streaming. I don't think. Oh, really? I still have only won once too. No, I've never you won. won. You had a good streak the, when we last played. Fifteen wins. But that was a while ago. I only have two. I only controller. have two wins total. Mm-hmm. So I actually got more mouse and keyboard. Like the one day I just went on a tear and I won like eight games, and then the next day with the controller I won like four, and then like two I have more a buddy who has really? like forty wins right now. 
but he That's grinds it. the shit out of that fucking game. Mm-hmm. Like, that was like Doggo. I think he had 25 or 28. I don't, like I don't know how lot. you could grind that game. I still can't believe Doggo, like he was, we, we were on that one where he was four and then we lost it to a fucking egg scramble. Like he was like four in a row. Four in a row. Oh. He was going for the fifth and we lost it to an egg scramble. Yeah, the like, team games are such a buzzkill sometimes, it. bro. Yeah. Especially when you're, I hate egg scramble and I hate the moment it's the three balls and yeah, yeah. in a row. Oh, three balls. No, I'm kidding. Get it? No. <laughs> Testicles? Drew gets it. Why do you have three balls? But it's like, you, just, you, get that you, you, you have to like plan that shit so perfectly. You have to have like a bunch of guys have to run at the, to the end of it and like start griefing the other team so that their balls can't go too far. But you also need to get yours like out of the thing. Yeah. And I swear all my teammates ever want to do is just throw themselves at the ball over and over again. <laughs> the, uh, the only good argument I've ever seen for the team games and I actually kind of changed my mind was if there were no team games most people like us would never win correct because team games are the only way you can eliminate the high skilled players correct and it keeps the yeah. it's like rng it's nice. i guess that's mm-hmm. perfect it's, it's because like because those times? mazes those guys are going to win every single time yeah, yeah. or if, it, if they're all skill based they're just going to run mm-hmm. through win 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 you have to have team games mm-hmm. otherwise it's boring i feel like fall guys is gonna be one of those games where i'm not going to get back into it again until i put a skin that i really like and then i'll go play it we'll just get a season two one season two we'll play probably there, a bit and then is it, it's like the battle pass comes with the purchase of the game right we have to rebuy the next season i, I think know. next season like this one was free because the game came out yeah, well it was then... we had to pay for the game though it's 20 bucks and then yeah. no, yeah got, i know like the battle pass is free but yeah i think after that or season pass it's gonna start being charged like 10 bucks or something i, I probably won't buy it fuck unless see, i probably this, yeah. won't either yeah like we're not gonna play enough we'll play around i don't know i'll probably play like once every two weeks the weird thing That's is they're true. adding games that like it's still the race but like it, it's also there's team elements where like you had to move all those like the staircase things i'm like i don't know if i like that but we'll yeah. see how it plays out um, it's oh. basically gonna be like some people are just gonna sit there and wait they're that's not me. gonna that's yeah. me every time that's me on the the yeah. totters i'm the one fucking ripping the thing up causing everyone on the topic to of seasons passes um the siege one for this season is really cool mm-hmm. but like what are i'm sure someone else had the same question what's the best way to level it up fastest because i really want those purple play. like but like what mode is ranked give you the most ranked and unranked give you bonuses so don't play casual casual is the most fun though that's where you find the most like nuts people dude yeah. That's where you find them. I join like into a you. casual game and I go like, "Hey, and everyone's like, ah, just <laughs> oh, like, shit. okay." I thought you meant like nuts as in skill. No, so, no, 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 literally no, no. crazy. Like yeah. every single casual game I join into, the the names are always like super fucking hilarious, and I'm just like, "Hey," and some guy's just like, "What you just say to me?" Like he's just freaking his. Every freaking time out. I watch Rob stream and he's playing casual, <laughs> he's like, "I think I have to mute these people. Like they're too crazy." I'm like, "This is literally what this Rob is, is like to me." It's, it's dude, well, Rob and his natural habitat. The worst is like. I'll be kind of trolling with someone, kind of joking around, but like, ha, 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 whatever. And then all of a sudden, they just turn really racist or really sexist. And I'm just like, oh, man, we could have we had something good going here. Yeah. That happens. So Shane knows Roy. Do you know Roy? Roy. Your boy Roy. The well, I, I know punk. who he is. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know how he's like, saw the earth, super nice, doesn't yeah. swear or anything. Yeah. He has the most racist fans ever. And really? It's fucking hilarious. Like, every single time we ever get in a lobby and they recognize Roy, we're like, we gotta wait mute for him. it. We gotta yeah. mute like, him. Just wait for it, and then they'll start saying like the most sexist <laughs> shit. And we're like, how? Like Roy is the nicest it's guy. Funny. But the same thing happens fans. with Chris when you watch his stream. You're like having a good time with somebody. It's funny, and you're like laughing, and then someone will say something. You're like, yeah, probably should have yeah. seen that coming. Yeah. As you're scrolling through the menu, <laughs> yeah. trying to mute the kid. Like, or it's like, or it's like someone's like, oh, they realize Christian's live, and then they just start freaking out. Well, you have all chat off, and everyone yeah. just be like. Everyone will be like, yo, nasty, is he streaming right now? And I won't say anything. And they'll be like, he's streaming. And they start saying, like, like but it's kind of fuck. As soon as, it, as, soon as like, you hear, like, a, like, as soon as they put it together, he's streaming, you, Christian's already fucking scrolling yeah. through the menu, clicking yeah. the mutes. Like, yeah. it's not, you know what's coming. It's pretty jokes. Mm-hmm. You gotta get a mute all button in there. So Honestly. Warzone does well. Um, That's actually sweet. Question, though. Well, last thing. I didn't, is your boy Roy also a, a, a Smash Bros or a Nintendo character or something? No. Because Roy, Roy is a. Roy is. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. okay, because that makes them. Can you sense. imagine? Like, he has, like, is he a character? Like, no. He's got a fucking character and he's, he's, he's sitting here playing Smash. It's a Fire Emblem. Because I was playing Sea or Siege. I was playing Smash at a buddy's place like a while back. And the, and the one guy kept saying, like, your boy Roy. And I'm like, oh, dude, you know, like, Siege? And he's like, what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> Apparently, like, it's like a thing. Maybe like, I wonder if maybe he got his name from it. It might be like Roy likes some people who know him yeah. said that and like it just kind of caught on. Maybe, but I don't know. Was I just a, I don't know. your boy Roy like a YouTuber too? 
I feel like I remember seeing one. I don't way know. back in the day. Isn't nah. he? Isn't he like? I don't think so. Sage YouTuber? Not that. Not him. No. Oh, yeah, I thought you were. Yeah, because no, 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 no. was like smirking over there. I'm like, <laughs> no. Is this some sort of like? No, inside like a, joke? a different one. Really? I don't yeah. Know. I'll maybe it was later. Roy. Maybe. Maybe it was man. Oh. Maybe he got reincarnated. Mm -hmm. Have you you have you gotten the new? <laughs> <laughs> you you you. He's have you gotten the new Mario? No. You did. Do you? I haven't played it. Wait, what? And he's been playing a new Mario came out. Uh, they like remastered three old Mario games and put it into one game for Mario Switch. 64, it's Sunshine, sweet. and Galaxy. I've only played one Mario game ever, and it was on the handheld thing a long time Mario ago. Mario Kart? The you DS. had to play Mario Kart with us. Well, I played Mario Kart, but I've never owned yeah. like a Mario. Probably like a, the side scroller Marios. Yeah, it was yeah. the one where like you're. The only Super part I remember is like you could turn into a raccoon or something. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's Super Mario Bros. Yeah. That one's sick. Um, I, I think I had Sunshine uh, for my DS. I don't remember which one it was. I was playing it a little bit today because Annie was on the second level of Sunshine and she could not get past it. <laughs> um, and I was like, it's so easy. Is that, the I started... one, is that the one Niall and Brittany were playing? Yeah. Okay, yeah. And it's like probably the level that you might have seen Brittany play where it's like on the water. and they have... the boat? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it's like all the gates get to climb. Yeah, she couldn't get past that, and I was just like, it's so easy. But I was like, I, I know, like I just know a lot about the game because I played it all the time. Mm -hmm. It's like it's not fair to compare. I'm like, it's so easy, just do it. It's like <laughs> trying to like teach. Just win. Well, it's just even worse. Like heads. it would be like trying to teach like a man to the video game. Mm -hmm. Like uh, if you like, she she like still can't she figure out like the, Stardew. <laughs> yeah, but she still can't figure out like the like two joystick system where one is like you move like this yeah. and one is you move your feet one thing i would say that that did camera. confuse me with sunshine because i forgot that you have to like stand still and then aim yeah and also a and b do the same thing that threw me off I was like, that's weird shouldn't one be different but i guess on mm -hmm. gamecube why is it was the, there's too many buttons to port over no it's the exact same amount of buttons oh. as gamecube that's why but... i still think it's the funniest thing out of all the games like we've tried to push on amanda like get her to play star do you think it would work no sims think it would work no the one game that stuck was way back in the day when me and Christian were like, hmm, wonder if Amanda would like Binding of Isaac. <laughs> like 600 hours later. <laughs> like she played that every single day for like two years. I don't even know what that game is still. It's basically, it's, hard, yeah. um, it's a roguelike. Do you know what that means? A roguelike? So it's mm -hmm. uh, a game where your progress carries, but it's a new run every single time. And so like you will, you'll, you'll do a run. There's a bunch of levels. Like you complete a level, beat a boss, or beat a boss, complete a level, move on to the next one. And then as you progress, like you'll unlock more items based on things that you've done. Like achievements. armor and shit? Yeah. Like items like, that you can collect. So like, whenever you beat a boss, you'll get a random like golden Some give you item. health, some give you attack speed, some oh, give you more okay. damage. So yeah. like you'll unlock a huge pool of items. And some then fuck your whole life. As you complete the story, you unlock more levels. So like first when you play, it's five levels. And then after you beat that once, it unlocks like two more levels. And then once you beat that 10 times it unlocks two more levels mm. and then it gets longer and then eventually we were getting to the point where our runs were like an hour and a half each yeah whereas at the beginning it's like yeah. 10 minutes the best is minutes. like the level five boss you're in like the womb fighting a baby so what the, fuck? the level seven boss is like your mom's heart your mom <laughs> level like what is i think you fight mom actually no that is mom then. yeah the one is like her eye. what is the eye or no that's the heart yeah, it's mom's heart, and then it turns into it lives, which is like a fetus. Yeah. Um, basically, so it, it sounds it sounds really fucked, but when you actually <laughs> no, it is fucked. It, it's yeah. fucked. It's like, like, like a cartoony game. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Once yeah. you're actually like playing and you understand the story, you're like, oh, okay, like it's fucked, but it it's kind of funny. It's yeah. basically you know, it's creative in the in the Bible, Abraham, how he kills his son Isaac. Yeah. So it's meant to no. be like uh, copying that where the kid is Isaac and then his mom watches broadcast television with the yeah. evangelist and then she hears God's voice and the God's like killed Isaac. Kill Isaac so yeah. then he's trying to hide and then the story is that like he opens up a or moves a rug and he sees like a door or something underneath. And you're falling through levels. And then like you go into like the cellar and then you go into the basement you go into whatever and then eventually the last level at the beginning is you fight mom because mm -hmm. she's trying to kill you excuse me like and, creeps, then, to and then when you yeah and then as you progress like as you when you kill mom you then go into her womb and then mm -hmm, when mm -hmm. you're in there you kill you like uh it kill her heart mm -hmm. what <laughs> it all sounded relatively normal and then, and then you then go you, in her womb you, you yeah kill, you <laughs> kill her it's, it's fucked but like when you actually play you're like oh like it just kind of makes kill sense her heart, in your mind. and then you unlock like you can either like go and fight like the devil like kind of the devil type thing or yeah. you can go and fight like god and then technically like yourself yeah like the last boss on like the good side is is like pretty much yourself one sec <laughs> <laughs> like, it's basically it's basically they're taking like a really religious story and just making it as 
fucked as possible. It's, and it's, it's so funny. So have, we, have we played the board game yet? No, we no, never we have. Need to fuck. We've had it for like two yeah. years. The best when, part is, is like again, me and Christian, like you probably have hundreds of hours in this too. I think on Steam, I have like four hundred hours. On the Switch, yeah. probably like eight hundred. Correct. Like so, it's insane. Rob, the multiplayer that you can play <laughs> is literally like one person moves and does everything, and then the other person gets to like just fire from this thing that follows the other it's person. A, it's around. a baby. So basically, when you're like how you oh, it's that shit, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. So basically, um, you're firing. Because he's crying, so yeah. you're firing tears, tears. at the yeah. enemy, but it's just like, you just say shots or whatever, and you can have little babies that follow you, so they're like companions that mm -hmm. do stuff for you, and yeah. so when you play like multiplayer, they're just another baby who moves on their own, and all they can do is just shoot, and they have one heart, and they die. Yeah. So in Boston was like my introduction to this game, <laughs> yeah, I and we like in the back seat, game. I'm like, oh, Shane, let me use your Switch, and I'm just playing like Binding of Isaac, and then we're in the hotel, and we like put it up on the TV, and we're just like playing and I'm the multiplayer loving it and Shane's like do you want to like do something else like I, <laughs> just like feeling bad that all I'm doing is firing shots upon no, was I was sick. loving it it's so much fun is it a police yeah pretty much it's a great game though yeah. but mm -hmm. yeah both those are so that's Isaac in his normal form and then that's Azuzel who is a uh, I think a fallen angel in the Bible? Yeah, that like the Azu name means something to do with like, yeah. the devil or something. Yes. Basically, like so, everything in the game is religious. Like yeah. items you'll pick up are like the Holy Chalice, like the Necronomicon. What's the one with the cap, Judas? Um. Oh yeah, oh, I forgot the small ones. Yeah, the left one is Judas. Look Judas. at an upside down cross on his forehead. So yeah, and then oh, Az Judas. <laughs> Azuzo is in the middle, and then the Lost is on the right. I don't know what that is in the Bible. Yeah. It's just like I, oh, I guess the Lost Soul. The Lost is fucked. It's, it's pretty much you take any hit. The runs over. Yeah, you have no health. It's uh, fucked. Damn. I'm gonna mm -hmm. check um, that out. It sounds like interesting. So it's insane. Risk of rain that we play that you hop in is like a similar thing. Like no. you go through levels picking up different items. Just no, no wombs. The no. screenshots yeah. you guys post yeah, of, of like this pure the pure inf information. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like, dude, yeah. what the? Fuck? <laughs> you should see us when we play now Age of Empires. Yeah. At the end, I forgot to take screenshots, but we played an hour and a half game of Age of Empires. So, yesterday. so these guys are like, "Hey, do you want to play?" I'm at. It's like, it's, really it's like what <laughs> nine o'clock? Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I I should go to bed, but what's a game usually like forty minutes? Yeah. I'll max. play. Yeah. It, it's an hour and a half in, and we're still sitting there like. We probably could maybe come back, but like Priest was starting to get steamrolled. I was I had got steamrolled, built back up, but I'm like realistically, we might as well just quit. And then I didn't even notice the time. You're like that was an hour and a half. I look at the time, I'm like dude, I show. I was like <laughs> Priest, like yo, play again. I'm like I, I should have went to bed an hour ago. Yeah. <laughs> like, Fuck. Um. So, do you know what Age of Empires is? It's like a RTS kind yeah, of civ, like right? Starcraft. Yeah. 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 So basically what happened is we had it on a mode where it's 20 minute treaty. So you can't attack each other in the first 20 minutes and you can't build outside of like a certain area around your base mm -hmm. and 20 minutes is up. We all have like our defenses up. We're ready. And then nothing happens. And we kind of scout forward and the enemy team just like went to the halfway point across the map and just like build a huge wall and starts building all of these like barracks and stables and we're like America. Oh fuck. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> a giant wall. Um, they started like sending troops slowly I have one of like considered to be one of the most powerful civs in the game with horses that like just destroy everything. So I'm like, fire. I'm holding them back, just destroying them, and then we never really set, dealt with the base. So eventually, they just started like spamming units nonstop. Yeah, we could never get to their main like, area. It got to the point where we were trying to push, and they would just have 200 units like just walk out of the base. I'm like, oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. and, for the most part, it was like you and Priest were getting just fucked on the sides, and I was so it started in the middle. with Priest and Christian, like everyone collapsing on them really well, and then all of a sudden, I think I just provoked the bear up top, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, the guy who is like clearly the best on the other team switches gears and builds up by me and pushes with a guy we didn't even know was fucking playing. He was yeah, not so bad. <laughs> and regardless, this guy started just pumping numbers, so I defended him for like fifteen minutes. And then the fucking shitter goes all the way around my base, cuts in behind, and just wipes out all my settlers. Oh, so I, I had no production. So then I had to like come over this and guy just saved like my ass, yeah. I was like killing people. I had troops going around the flank, destroying the buildings. I was, I was like, like, okay, it's Shane, like Infinity War shit. Yeah, Iron Man like, he up. came in and I was just like, clean. I was like, Shane, I destroyed their production. All my troops are dead. I'm like, just yeah. kill the troops and yeah. we're good. Yeah. And we killed them. And then like, and then I went back over to dealing with priests. So uh, he wiped out that whole side, but then Green was just like all right cool just fucking 
pummeled Priest. Yeah. <laughs> so and Priest was dealing with the the guy who was probably actually probably turned out to be better than Green. Maybe the other guy was just nuts. He was just spamming a, a constant troop line at Priest, and Priest was getting there's nothing you could do. It got to the point where like we basically had a tr like a whole wall of units to stop the only entrance. But he could just keep sending them, and they just like one or two build. would go by, kill a settler, and then his economy is like slowly tanking, and they're mm -hmm. just going through, and like we we can't stop uh, that slow burn. Mm -hmm. But for the first game back in like what when did we last play? Like a year or two ago? I played like last week with Priest. But like just you practice, and I was the last yeah. time. Yeah, the for the first game back in that long time, like I think I did okay. My mm -hmm. economy was good. I boomed. Like I was probably the first one or second one behind you to stage four. Yeah. But the thing is, is like I I, I kind of plateaued there. I need to keep rolling yeah i think uh, um mm -hmm. i think wait the, yeah last time we played was when it was the 2v1 yeah fuck you where <laughs> um peter and shane were like oh let's play and we're like we have three people I was like fuck it i'll 1v2 you guys and we're like oh, and this I just, will be a joke this guy just fucking smacked us <laughs> he, he probably baited you into that though he was oh 100 like, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah age yeah, of empires yeah. i've probably played more than siege yeah this kid Fucking so over, I used to like I got five thousand hours. I got that for Christmas the year it came out, and that was the only game I played. We talked about it last week. He wiped me out, I and I then have it. Mm, I probably I feel like I kind of do. You that. probably have Age of Empires too. He oh, he wiped me out, and then I like I run with my last guy and build like a small base in behind Peters, and this guy just like sits outside Peters. Waits for me to just rebuild just enough, and then wipes Peter out like it was nothing. Like holy fuck. Yeah. And uh, for Age of Empires, it was so stupid. I was gonna invite Ben to play with us so we could do two v twos, mm -hmm. and then he's like, "Oh, um, like maybe I'll buy it if it was on sale." And I was like, "Oh, it's fifty bucks. It's a yeah, two thousand five game or two thousand seven. Fifty bucks. And it's fifty bucks." And then I look, and they, I didn't know this. They're coming out with a remastered version in like a month. The remastered version is like twenty bucks. It makes no sense. Like, why is the 2007 version 30 bucks more? You should, make, you should make content out of it if it's easy enough. Mm. Eh, no. I don't think it would do anything, though. It's more of a game I just want to play for fun. I guess mm -hmm. enjoy. Don't you Among you're, Us... You're not allowed to have fun. <laughs> yeah, you gotta work. Dude, it's not working. Among Us is the one that we can mix where it's, like, content yeah. and it's still fun. Yeah. And we all hate each other. Mm. I haven't uh, checked the make numbers, risk of but... Video, Christian. <laughs> no. Nah. Do I you... actually was going to when it first came out, but then people weren't really that interested in it, so... I've been addicted. I did so much fun. Dude, I've been like so more, much more addicted to BRs than I was before recently. I don't know what it is. You're back. Mm -hmm. I, dude, I play for, I need, I'm back in that mode where I need, I need to play Fortnite at least like an Jeez. hour a day. No. Jeez. I don't know what Not it is. Fort I'd understand if it was war. I played a couple of games of Warzone I, I, the other day, got like couple, like six, seven kills, and I was like, okay, this, no, that yeah. was fun. I just Fortnite. And I played so much Warzone the last like, month. I was playing like three hours a day minimum. And now it's like, I kind of I'm not sick of Warzone. I just did a bit of a break. Yeah. Until new content comes in, because I maxed the season now. There's nothing left for me to do. Mm -hmm. But Fortnite, there's all this new shit in it, and like it's I'm such a little kid, but it's like, I it's fun. Like all the new Marvel shits in all these Iron Man skins. Everyone's like, I'm I'm like, oh, oh, who would actually give a fuck about that? I go into the game and I'm just like, dude, this is the coolest shit ever. <laughs> Speaking of Marvel, have you heard about the game they have on Epic? It's 90, 90 gigs I, uh, and it was broken to its fucking core. And I then watched... they put out an, an update today that was that fixed over a thousand bugs. And everyone and everyone's like, how do you release a game? Like, you know about some of these bugs on release, obviously. Yeah, yeah. If there's a thousand of them. There's probably more. Yeah. That's the worst part. And then, I watched I watch Shroud play a bit, but like... And it's 90 gigs, dude. So the one thing that I heard about it that a lot of people were complaining about, they have a season pass or like a battle pass for each individual character. <laughs> oh, so instead of having geez. one for everyone, it's like you have to buy a $10 pass for the Hulk. So you have to main... $10 pass for Captain America. You have to main the Hulk? You have to like, main something. And oh. Spider-Man's not even on PC or Xbox, only on PS4 because the whole Sony exclusivity thing. Yeah. That Spider-Man game, the one they released last time, actually looked sick i haven't pl I, I would want to play that i haven't either but it yeah. looked actually good if they ever ported it for pc i'd buy it in a heartbeat oh. uh two big things first you guys hear bethesda got bought by microsoft i did see yes. that but for 7.5 billion that's crazy well, that's well like the money. parent company got bought zenimax zenimax but yeah. the thing so, is they said they're gonna anything that's currently ip under bethesda it's gonna keep getting released as per like elder scrolls um Anything is there a new one coming out in like a few years? But anything that that's existing Bethesda so, IP will get continue to get rolled out for all the systems. So, but oh, it's, okay. it's all the new IP, like that Starfield game. Yeah. Um, whatever else they decide to make a new Fallout, though, all those would have because Fallout was an Xbox exclusive way back in the day, I think. 
Yeah. yeah. So they're probably going to kick so. that back It kind of makes sense because Xbox was kind of, if you look at PS5, yeah. they were lacking on exclusives. But can't we play, like we were playing, can't we play stuff online with Xbox on the computer or no? Yeah. yeah. Through the I, Xbox app? Thing? I do like, that all the time. Basically yeah. with the new Xbox, I think their goal is to make it where Xbox and play. PC are the same. Yeah. Which, makes Which is sense. fucking yeah. awesome. Yeah. Well, it's like... I don't know why. Like, they're both Microsoft. Why dude, mm-hmm. have, have, I, have I said this before? Discord, it would make a million dollars every second if they partnered with Xbox Live. <laughs> Who's... What do you mean? How are they going to get paid? But, but well, like, I don't know. But, but like, Xbox has Xbox Live. Why would they need? Because when I'm playing with my friends on Xbox... Sucks. <laughs> is it Does it? Yeah, I, the Xbox app that I... Because they were all in a party on their consoles together. I need to join it off my PC. The yeah. PC Xbox app hot garbage dude. Yeah. it works like 50 percent of the time you, you, we, you can't adjust people's yeah. individual volumes it's when we were all on a playstation it actually worked surprisingly well yeah. well it's because we basically had to have like our playstation and then we'd have our laptop on the side or computer mm-hmm. with the headphones plugged in i remember i i was thinking about this the other day i don't know were you guys gaming with us back in like the skype days Probably not. No, like I, I never. Wasn't I, started, for sure. I started gaming in grade twelve. Because we remember, with like, us. remember yeah. the days before. Oh, wait, wait, we remember the days before, right. like Discord, because we used Skype and then we used the Steam's chat, and how we'd be like playing Siege or something, and Christian would make a call out. And it would literally get to me like two seconds later. Mm-hmm. It was fucking awful. And then Discord came <laughs> along, and we're like, "This is." It was like, "This is the best thing." I, I hated it at first. I was well, like, "I don't want to fucking." But we use had that. to pick yeah. between Discord, and we had to pick between Teamspeak at the time. Yeah, I was and say. Teamspeak's like I don't know, their it's, UI like, was fucking ugly. Teamspeak as hell. looks like a fucking Windows yeah. control panel. I used Teamspeak yeah. when I played Guild Wars, like with all these random people on the internet. I just Teamspeak. <laughs> Teamspeak, <laughs> Teamspeak was Teamspeak is definitely better for quality because you have like a dedicated server yeah. specifically mm-hmm. for you, but it is just like. Even for me, I'm like, this is so awful to Correct. use. But I Discord works perfect for. I'm yeah. so glad we went the Discord way. Do you know what I mean? Discord's um, really nice. That's yes, yeah. but I, I remember, like, I was thinking about the other day. We were using fucking Skype at one point because it yeah. was better You'd than have Steam's a chat. Million different group chats because you're like, oh, we're playing, but this person's not joining us. So make a new group chat. Yeah, and you just oh swap between God. them. Yeah, I was I was doing Skype for a bit with Guild Wars, and then I was doing some Underworld speed clears with like my European friends at 5 a.m. when I had to get up for high school <laughs> the next day. Nice. Dude, I don't know how, but I've managed to go through life and not use Skype once. I'm not even kidding. Never use it for anything. I don't know how. Mm-hmm. I do Skype at work for. I have a I have a Skype account. I've literally never made a call on it. I've never messaged anyone on it. I've really? just never had to use it. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that makes me like a fucking. Did you use MSN? Yeah, MSN all the time. I that run was home Skype. From, run home from school, change my MSN status to whoever I was chilling with. Or if I was yeah. by myself, I'd say looking for a hangout or something like that. Go to a much be- music looking for dance sexy ladies music. in this local area. Or something. Yeah. Asking for people's Doctors numbers. Like, them. hey, do you, have, yeah. do you have MSN? What's your MSN? Yeah, what's I'm your not MSN? giving it to you. And then it's like you run home. And Oof, and I remember one of my favorite MSN memories. I, I hate myself for saying it, but I remember uh, there was a girl Ooh. in my grade. Ooh. And I saw her, co- like her description or what's her uh, status status was like Illy and in someone's name. And I was like, I messaged her. I was like, oh, are you sick? Like, are you, oh, I L Y. Yeah. And oh, I was like, okay. Um, fucking... Like, are you feeling a little under the weather or anything? She's like, no, like I love them. I'm like, oh, <laughs> she's like, oh, for oh me, you for, do. For it was like, if you were dating, dating, I'm at your school, you would have like your, your main status. Your next status would be like where you were at. Yeah. Next status would be like, I L Y S M. I love you so much. Like or just Phil like or Jack. Their initials or, in a heart or something. Yeah, shit. something like that. But couldn't be me though, man. Mm-hmm. And I never got a. No, and now Discord no is basically RV the same heart. way. You see sizes. that a lot on Instagram too, Yo, though. When like, you yeah, see you in do. bios, yeah, it's like the lock emoji and it's like a date. Dude, I like, when I go on Twitter and I see someone's and like they have the whole bio and at the end it's just like heart person. I was like, oh my god. It's like, oh wait, it's it. like oh are you really dating them? I never, yeah. I wouldn't have known based on your fucking catalog of pictures. <laughs> yeah, it was your together, thirty like, fucking pics together, or your yeah. profile picture of you guys crawling over each other in some fucking orchard. <laughs> True. Rob's a. Yeah. The e girls are drying up for him. Yeah, the wells, the wells getting dry, boys. Oh, goodness. Drop your, uh, drop any Instagram handles. You know, it's almost that season. That's a, the comment prompt for the. the no. It's almost that season. Cuffing season. Cuffing season. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Actually, we're 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 almost. You're right. You got like a month. Month until yeah. officially cu- cuffing season officially starts after October or Halloween. The mm-hmm. hunters and PSLs are coming out, man. What are what? PSLs? Pumpkin spice latte, baby. Oh. They're already out. Yeah, they released some Hunter, early Hunter now. boots. Cuffing season is among nut. It's among almost us. it's almost orchard <laughs> season, bro. <laughs> among nuts. <laughs> among us. Oh, speaking of like, 
Yo, you, you guys, you guys want to play some Among Us later? Among or Us. <laughs> Speaking of uh, like with the new season, I we closed the pool, right? Like Andy got the. I thought, I thought we were talking closed. about Siege for a second. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> and today I had to go outside to like rinse the recycling bin because it was all sticky from someone mm-hmm. dropping coffee in there. Some it wasn't used once. Um, and I like looked at the pool. We have one of those elephant covers, what they I call seen them. That, yeah. And I was like, I see. Looks that. pretty fancy. I was like, I, I was told I can walk on this. Did you? I, was like, oh, I don't trust it. And I like so put my, I put my foot end. on. I'm on the edge of my seat. And I was like, it feels solid. It feels really like it felt like hardwood floor. And I was like, okay. So like I kind of put like one foot on and then like stepped on it. And I was like, I can't fucking do this. I just <laughs> ran off. I, I, Let I, me do it. Now. Dude, Dude, what? The thing is, it has that Dude, like I'm going out there. No, because right there's after still this. water in there. So I'm like, if you How much? fall like half, just do it in the shallow. Dude, the Wait, why though? They only bring it down to like right below where the uh what's it called the flap is yeah so like it has all that water so i was like i was stepping on i was like if i fall in Wait, i'm gonna fall in with all this netting really? around me in water i thought the people drain i thought you drain the pool no you only drain the pipes and well, like drain I, think it it, I think it depends on the type of pool i'm so but confused dude, the, the, like, yeah the, you the, want, you want to have I, room to expand i honestly didn't understand it either because i thought when it freezes it's gonna expand and then it's just gonna well, crack the side here's the thing this guy's this guy's card probably got declined halfway through and they're like oh, fuck <laughs> this guy yeah. but, but uh, if it's like the one with the liner like it would probably like it could cut well, it and stuff but like yours is just ceramic i have no, no mind uh, or whatever honest, yeah. fiberglass yeah what i was saying though the cool cover oh, it's like that know, gym mat texture it. when you run when you run yeah. on it and your bare feet so i wanted I to start like, jumping on it like a trampoline i was like I, should i and i i chickened out here's the thing like if i'm just walking across the shallow yeah yeah or yeah. sprint yeah. it, dude. You're fine. If you sprint across that, nothing's gonna happen. Robs the kid, like so. You're like, you're I'll like, try you're on like, like ice that like was more just, would happen. but you're on ice <laughs> that's just freshly formed, and you're like tiptoeing across. You're hearing all the cracks, and then you just hear Rob sprinting, <laughs> and every step he's got the big like fucking hip boots, so every step he's going straight through the ice. <laughs> I've done and this before. was like elementary school Rob, where he <laughs> yeah, had some meat on him. <laughs> I didn't, make, I didn't make it to the ice, man. I, fucking, I was already knee deep in the water for fucking. Uh, Okay. I was always too scared for pond hockey for that reason. Like you know this one here. Yeah. I would just be like, man, am I too fat for this? <laughs> you put on your skates, you get on the ice, and just literally just out. Crack there's, through. there's nine people on the ice, and he's sitting there like, am I gonna be the one that puts this? Yeah, I might go out there and fucking no that and uh, the other surreal fear I always have is there's like a fucking like Leviathan type monsters waiting to just burst through the ice and grab me, but that's less realistic. The one True. way I always got past those it's fears, like it was pond. like <laughs> thinking to myself, I'm like, am I that special? I'm like, nah, no. that's how that I feel. happened to me. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> see, Rob's like, what are the chances? Yeah, yeah. Like, well, see, I think I, I could be a future, like, you know, galactic hero. What if they're trying to kill me when I'm young? You know what I mean? True. <laughs> They're not gonna kill you when you're at home alone and you leave the back door unlocked. No, the back door has been locked, bro. It's always been locked. I don't know where this nonsense came from. Okay, I live with my parents. His parents are back, so. Yeah. What are you gonna say, Shane? Oh, uh, it's like like the whole like when you you have like a fear of heights and then you're going to like you're on like the CN Tower. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I'm so scared. And then you look around, you're like, thousands of people. Okay, whatever. Or you you have a fear of like heights. You're on a roller coaster. You're like, oh, I'm gonna die. And then you're like, wait, no. I still feel like. See, I'm then be that I think one. those thousand people weakened it, and I'm gonna get fucked. <laughs> yeah, really? See, I'm just like, I, I, I can oh, get, not gonna die. For, I take it one for step the further. glass on like the CN Tower. I felt like that, but then when I went to Japan, we went to like the CN Tower equivalent, and they have the exact same thing, glass. And I see like twenty of these five year old Japanese students all running across and like dancing on it. I'm like. If these fucking kids can do it. I can too. I went on. They're sort of hitting the game style. The one like, <laughs> <laughs> Chris is there when the one kid falls through. <laughs> Just fucking cursed. Oh god. Should have got some elephant uh, pool closers on that instead I of the really glass. Try that. Yeah. No. It's, uh, it's weird. Every single like you know where all those little screws were. Mm-hmm. So I guess they lift up and then they each have their own. It li- literally looks like the trampoline coils. Oh really? So I'm like, if that. Wait, if that falls off, that is whipping at you. So really you, hard. so I'm assuming you don't have to clear snow off it or anything. I don't think so. You might as well just to be safe. Well, then you'd have to walk on it. Well, like I guess you, you get, could you stretch it. It's either going. well, like if enough snow <laughs> falls, if enough snow goes on it, fucking I'll just. Wait, are you are you gonna buy a snowblower? Yeah, uh, no, we're probably just gonna to. pay for someone to do it. Oh, dude, fuck. I'll literally oh, come. I'll come shovel your driveway for fucking ten bucks. No, twenty bucks a pop. <laughs> 
You is really want to be here at like 7 a.m. shoveling our I'll driveway? I'll shovel the night before. It's Dude, also, I guess it, you're used to your driveway. It's overnight, long. you dumbass. Isn't it heated? Well, don't tell <laughs> him that. <laughs> don't tell him. <laughs> Um, Rob collects his 20 bucks. It's just see, folding it. Peace after, out. Thanks the money, idiot. <laughs> after doing the like driveway at my parents' house, which was like a triple car driveway. Oh, no yeah. big deal or anything. Well, I'm saying like that. It's basically equivalent <laughs> to my driveway Rob now. It's because it's really long. Yeah. I feel like this one's, like, five, this one's worse car. though. I know. So after doing that, I'm like, I do not ever want to fucking do this yeah, again. That's where, that's where the back issues came from. I'm about to Yours is going to suck too. It's got all the little... Crevice. I'm gonna sound crazy, but I love it, dude. It'll get caught. I love shoveling snow for two reasons: one, jumping into <laughs> snow banks, and two, eating fistfuls of snow at a time. Yo, me bro. too. You know you can do that without shoveling the snow. It's just therapeutic for me. <laughs> There's man. nothing better than seeing a nice clean patch and then dude. eating it, and then realizing like, man, I'm I'm pretty much eating like the snow is getting sucked up, like the yeah. water gets I'm sucked drinking, up like, from su- Lake Ontario. Yeah, I'm drinking. I'm some, just drinking sewer water right some, now. Some but... assholes pissed from fucking his cottage, <laughs> but like yeah, this guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, good times bro alright well Delicious. Bring I, on I, th- I still feel like it'll be cheaper to hire someone than to hire Rob for 20 bucks a night well, we can well yeah that out. it's like 500 for a season I'll do 500 a season I guess it depends it's actually on the not bad yeah they, do, they don't do it every day though. I shovel my neighbors well, they, they only do, do it whenever there's snow, snow. Yeah. Dude. do you have to move your cars in like how's that work um, well, normally they just come in with a like pickup truck with a plow in the front they just yeah, shove it all so to the like, side but your cars are in the way I think not for long Fucking run that shit over, dude! Just rams the cars into the garage. Yeah, I don't know what they would. I just don't know would how require, it works because we will we'll always have one car in the driveway. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Well, I'm sure they can they move, move around one car if they're no oh, Five hundred yeah. bucks a season to shovel the driveway. I'm sure they know how to fucking. Yeah, I, yeah. I seriously doubt that every single one of their clients like moves the car. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure that they work work around it. Yeah, they get out, they get the brush out and just dust. Dude, off there's all literally the two houses on our entire street that don't have snow blowers. And not we're one of them. <laughs> Why? I'm out there. I'm out there busting my ass at like seven in the morning some days. And all I see is my neighbor like, hey, hey. Like, fuck you. Help, help yourself. Bro. My you just said like, that it was therapeutic and you love it. Not in the morning, bro. This guy, yeah. So what, what, the, when you're trying to shovel my driveway, you're gonna come at like what five p.m. I'll do it at like <laughs> nine p.m., bro. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's the nicest guy there's like this sweet old lady that lives across the street from them oh, and like her sweet. husband died and whatever and she'll oh. be like out there with a shovel so we'll get up like extra early and just like blow hers off and she'll be like oh thanks <laughs> just blow her off <laughs> first thing in the morning she's eh? like just... oh thanks she like brings over cookies sometimes I haven't had that since you. my husband <laughs> oh no <laughs> I think we're at time <laughs> I don't think so are we thank you what time is it <laughs> you didn't even tap the screen you tapped like one here. hour 23 minutes you got seven minutes to go let's go What'd you have for breakfast, Drew? Yeah, what'd you have for breakfast? A uh, smile cookie. For breakfast? <laughs> that actually makes me want to end this. <laughs> <laughs> I got a coffee and they're like, do you want a smile cookie? I'm like, you know what? I didn't eat anything. Sure. You, wait, do you not have breakfast? No, not usually. You know what? Uh, it disgusts me, to be honest. Fucking freak. That's I, I usually, oh, weekends I do. I, I only have oh, breakfast. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> I have breakfast at like noon because like I'll wake up at ten. So I'm like, yeah, lunch. that's lunch. So I'm like, noon. We'll think about. It. I'm like, do I eat? I don't want to think ten thirty and then eat again at noon. I'm like, no, I just yes. fucking wait an hour and then eat right before stream. Yeah. I'm usually just, to me. I usually just wake up too late. Do you guys not? Are you guys not hungry when you wake up in the morning? A little yeah. bit, but like, not too much i have we're not trying to be 300 pounds so it's like uh, oh, i'm not I'm trying to be 300 pounds now there's the rest of the world and eats I breakfast. fucking i have Sh- shane you have the metabolism of three fucking elephants i have breakfast three at, elephants fucking i have breakfast at five i have second breakfast at nine i you have, also work really early. yeah i then i have lunch at like 1 30 i have like a snack before climbing at 3 30 usually i've been having like the costco seven fucking oh, layer dip yeah 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 <sighs> And then I have like a, a my dinner at like six. Do so that. I try to I try to hit like five meals. This the seven there being like the salsa. Yes. The, oh yeah, fuck, dude, it's that amazing. Shit's so good. <laughs> fuck, it's got so much it. dairy in it though, bro. Yeah, well, dude, I had a day, fucking. It's amazing. You know dinner. what? Uh, I had just yesterday that like, I think it was Annie's first time ever having it. Costco pizza. And my Ooh. roommate, they, they had Wait, no like idea. The, the carrot sizes or the actual pizzas? We got, got a full like pizza. Okay. Yeah, oh. yeah. It's an 18 inch pizza I remember for 12 bring, bucks. Yeah. I remember oh, bringing that home huge. once Even and it not fitting ones. in the fridge and I was so mad. If we can fit it, <laughs> and you had to like stack them on a plate. Dude, yeah. Even the Zares ones from the hot, like the pre-made ones and the thing, they're mm-hmm. better than a Delicio. Dude, there was nothing better than closing and just grabbing like whatever pizza was on sale, like a $3 pizza and then being like. It's half off also. Yo, can you, yeah. can you throw this in the fucking thing? Dude, or it's like when you go to the hot deli and it's like, everybody 
about to close up and you just say, hey, what well, wedges? And they're just like, get like, this <laughs> giant fucking bin. Yeah, they're like, I'm just going like to throw a these out. Yeah. I remember the one time I, I kept working till 10. That's when they closed, I think, right? And it was like the the one kid who got fired eventually because he just kept giving away so much free shit. <laughs> probably, probably my fault. Yeah. Literally three days in a row, I'd go and just get like fucking like 13 chicken tenders and like a bucket of wedges <laughs> for like six bucks. Oh, you yeah. know who I saw at Costco? One of the managers that got fired. Yeah, he yeah. works there now. Yeah, yeah they both. I saw him. I was just like, "This is so surreal." Yeah, like weird. I knew he worked there, but I was like, "I never expected to see." But yeah, that Costco pizza. There it's okay. I was like, "I'm." It's not my favorite, but it's it's pizza. It's good. It's so good. Mm. The only thing that sucks is when you reheat it. I like was that's the thing. Trying to eat it, it kind of tastes okay. like rubber, but it still tastes so good. It's, it's, yeah, that's guys, a, that was my issue. It was like cardboardy the next day. To, mm. So pizza the, the next day, my buddy said you. Like don't use a microwave. You either have to toaster oven it or eat it cold. Correct. Yes. I do broil toaster it. oven. Broil yeah. it. Yeah. Broil it. A What's toaster that? oven's the same. I thought, same concept. Don't you broil chicken? You can broil it in the toaster oven. Bro, you have just to specifically heat above, broil it. No heat below. So it's just shut up. Toasted. That's, that, that's some fucking French. That's how the pizza places do it. All the heat comes from the top. It's just like and super. This, fucking... It's it's on like a stone slab though. You you're telling me that thing doesn't retain any heat? <laughs> no, dude. It's just no, for show. Sure. <laughs> warm up the you a warm up fire the pizza only comes from the top, bro. <laughs> Drew's just like in there, like laying on the fucking stone slab. Like it's just warm. It's the heat's from above. <laughs> well, how do they how do they crisp? Well, crust yeah so like the stone's warm <laughs> but that's how you get it all like cheesy and crispy again if you just heat it up and it's just, like, you could just warm. put it in a normal fucking toaster same concept yeah i put mine on toast and it still melts the cheese Drew, perfectly Drew fine. wants to throw the mic stand I so bad i just have a microwave pizza in forever bro ever since no. my buddy said microwave that. is disgusting the thing is, is it, as soon as you toast pizza leftovers anyone, once why would anyone microwave okay so li- if, maybe you don't have a toaster like liquefies the pizza yeah. oh. question about the pizza do you guys ever just like leave the box out without putting it in the fridge and then just eat the slice in the morning? I've done that no. probably a thousand times. I did that. Only... I did that once, and I just didn't really think about it. And Annie was just like, "What the fuck is wrong with you? That's awful." Dude, we would go out. Like, in, yeah, I was gonna say only when yeah, drinking. Like in school, yeah. we'd go out, come home with the pizza. You just crush it. You leave it. You're obviously yeah. cleaning up. The next morning, you wake up. You have pizza for breakfast. It's that right would be there. like I the... eat pizza and then like get my car, go to work. Yeah. Like I'll do that, but I know it should. Like I yeah, know exactly. that's wrong. Like, I, I don't. I don't go out of my way. Like, yo, don't put it in the fridge. Leave it out here overnight. Yeah. I just don't care. You're not gonna Bruce die from that. Did that once. I put it in the fridge. He's like, who put the pizza in the fridge? I'm like, ow. <laughs> like, what? It goes in the fridge. Wasn't it? Well, yeah. don't dox him. Ow. Oh. Well, his, his name's Al. He's probably Italian, and that means he just knows how to eat pizza properly. True. <laughs> why do you think Al is Italian? Why do you think Italians can Italian? What? Well, they can be Al. I don't know. It's yeah, just Al seems know, like an Italian name. I guess Al Pacino. <laughs> like Al, but like, yeah, there you go. Case hey, he's numero a drug, he's one a, person. Yeah. He's a drug lord. It's nice. like Al. It's like Tony. We're good friends. Tony. FBI, open up. <laughs> Tony, I'm no working Mounties. here. RCMP, oh, yeah. open up. I hear the front door. It's like Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> oh God! That's All right, what's our uh, what's our question for the week? I I said it earlier was the one if uh, Rob overreacted on Twitter, but we, we can change we, we, it. We already had that one, man. What about so basically? technically, yes. Yeah. But like, I thought it was the whole exchange was funny. Yeah. Now that oh, I've had I, some, I, I've, I've had some time to simmer on it, still, you know, I'm still a little irked. But yeah, yeah I'd, maybe I did overreact. But both a of them, bit. both again, both replies are funny. Like it's yeah. it's funny. I like it. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, if you can accept it, then we'll ask a different. Question. I have my own question because I know you guys are gonna hate it. But the the Zelda anniversary is coming up next year. <laughs> <laughs> which <laughs> which so it's like it's their thirty five, and there's talk of them doing like another thing like they did for the Mario. So which me. three Zelda games would you like to see? I would like to see Minish Cap in one. Modern Warfare 2. Black <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess we'll leave that as the question. Oh, God. <sighs> um, I, yeah, I had five seconds to come up with one. Couldn't think of it. Okay. Here's the question. Yeah, hey, three I'm Zelda Zelda games. Yeah. <laughs> the one thing we didn't talk about at all in the podcast. And if you've never played Zelda... What's your, what's your favorite, favorite three Call of Duty? Yeah. What's your what's the best Call of Duty of all time? Chat, Fuck come off. up with better questions for yeah, us. Honestly, yeah. God, that too. No, think of man, questions wanna... we can ask you. Yeah, exactly. Hey, here's yeah. the question: What question should we ask next week? Yeah, thank God. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Isn't right. that, that's literally the thing? People do Q and As. Yeah, but like we're not actively answering. We're not, them. Yeah, we're not answering their question. I don't we're know. Just, Niall people, answered people one this that. week. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I think. Okay, that's it. Bye, guys. Bye. Peace.